You guys see anyone? Well, there's a couple of dead birds back there. Where'd the shot come from? It sounded like it was right here. I think we ought to concentrate our search around here. Got it. Looking for... hunters? Anything that might be an underground entrance. Small cave, fissures, earthquake damage, anything. So, some guy with a shotgun pops up out of the ground, fires, and dives back in like some Rambo groundhog? Is that what you're looking for? Mark, only some of us are looking right now. Conrad! Mark! Over here! What have you got? Hurry up! Where'd that come from? It sounded like it came from right beneath me. Great, so now what, we get shovels and start digging? Yeah, if I feel like it. Hey, take it easy, you guys. We need to find the entrance to the cave. It's gotta be around here somewhere. You know, this is so nuts. You have no idea what's under the ground here. <laughs> I am fed up with you what? right now. If you don't quit complaining and start doing something yeah. worthwhile, I'm going to leave you out here. What? Hey, get off me. Get off of me. Yeah. I said get off of me. Right. Come on, what's the matter with you? Right now, you're the matter. I want to find Vicky, and you're not helping one bit. Is this about me and Darian? If you're on your feet right now, I'd level you. All right, you two. We do not have time for this. That gunshot was nearby. Now drop the wrestling match, and let's get busy. All right. All right. Let's do it. But after we find her, what? You and me are gonna have words. Commander Fulciri, can you tell us why you've been placed in charge of the Eastern United Carpathian States Counterterrorism Units? Well, I would guess it's because I've shown tangible results catching and executing the Judahites. Last time I checked, I had the highest rating in all the United Carpathian States. Care to comment on your greatest area of success? Well, just look at what I did in the Chicago area. Four years ago, that was a hotspot of anti-Carpathianism. When's the last time you even heard about the Judahites in Chicago? What about your greatest challenge? Challenge? They're persistent, but not necessarily smart. No one particular challenge stands out. What about this Vicky B character? What about her? Has she been caught? Have you heard from her lately? Seen her on TV? Heard about her showing up at any concerts? That may suggest she's just run underground. Possibly. Vicky B is like a gopher. You have to wait for her to pop her head out of the ground before you can blow it off. It sounded like that gunshot came from over there. I don't see anything that would be an entrance to a cave. Precisely. They're trying to hide. Shh. Hear that? Be ready for anything, guys. Conrad. Colin. Vicky. You guys, over there. Pull her up. Donnie's right behind me. She's not doing so good. I think they drugged her. What's with the shooting? I'll explain later. Just help me get her out of here. We got her. Can you carry her? I'm not sure how solid my ankle is. I'll carry her. Fine, let's get out of here now. I don't see nobody following us. We may have lost him. The Paris taxi driver is the greatest driver in the world. Let's hope the GC don't have none working for him. Where are we going? There is a group of believers living in a chateau near La Shell. You will be most welcome to stay. <sighs> Your friend as well. We owe you big, Jacques. If you hadn't motored in, we'd be in a world of hurt at that Four Horsemen concert. Take me only when we are safe. Hey, Jesus ain't gonna be coming back for a couple years, Holmes. Episode 61, Worlds Apart. Here's some fruit. Anything else I can get you? No, just let me hit the shower when I'm done eating. <laughs> <laughs> no problem there. You could use a shower. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Becky says Tanya's going to be okay. Looks like she's dehydrated and malnourished. Well, they didn't give us any food or water. What happened out there, Vicky? What did they do to you? Mm, I guess you'd call it brainwashing. They shut us up in separate rooms, didn't feed us. Yeah, it looks like they kept your hands taped up, too. Yeah, for a while. Did you meet Tanya's dad? What's his name? Cyrus. Yeah, I met him. And? Well, he'd come into the room, sit on the ground, and start telling me his own messed-up translation of the Bible. What's his story? 
he's not a believer. He doesn't have the mark, but he does seem to know some Christianese. Like what? Well, he knows about Armageddon, and he believes Carpathia is the dragon from the Book of Revelation. But he's just a religious wacko? Well, he's more like a militia wacko who uses the Bible as some crazy code book. They all are. How many were there? I don't know. A couple of dozen. Did he tell you what all these people are doing hiding out in a cave in Wisconsin? Waiting for Armageddon. He thinks when the battle's over, he and his crew are just going to come out and live happily ever after. And Tanya doesn't buy it anymore, but Ty, he's just trouble. What do you mean? Well, he's fighting with his dad about every little thing. I think he's headed for a meltdown. <laughs> yeah, he seemed as stable as nitroglycerin when he was here. But if it wasn't for him, we never would have gotten away. Why? What'd he do? The diversion was all him. Really? Yeah, he grabbed a gun and pointed it at his dad. While everyone was pounding on him, Tanya and I got away. The big question is, now what? What do you mean? Well, I doubt the Cyrus guy is going to let his daughter just take off without doing something about it. Well, there's something else we got to deal with first. What? I want to know what we're going to do with Vicky. <laughs> Come in, come in. You were right. It is smaller inside. What's a shack like this go for these days? Mm, my dad used to have a house like this. That was before he got a job. <laughs> yes, yes. Make fun all you want. The house belonged to one of our group. When his parents disappeared in the rapture, Gilles became a believer and opened his home to others. I read someplace not too many people disappeared during the rapture around here. Less than 1%. We decided to do something about that. Have you had much trouble with the GC? Not yet. We're far enough away from the city not to be noticed. For now. Yes, for now. Is everybody okay? Oh, yeah, we're just fine. Mark's upset. I'd never have guessed. What's going on? Mark thinks it's time for me to leave. Leave? Yeah. The group. He still has to convince the rest of us, though. Problem is, he's making some good points. Oh, come on, Colin. You can't really think that Vicky screwed up that bad. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if this Cyrus guy is going to come looking for his daughter or what. Oh, no chance. I'm sure I'll just let her go without putting up a fight. I'm telling you, Mark. I and don't go getting all Clint Eastwood on me. I'm not the one causing problems in this group. Well, right now you are. I'm not the one who wandered out in the middle of the night to rescue Tanya. Huh. Yeah, you sure aren't. And I'm not the one who got caught putting the rest of us at risk during our little rescue operation. You weren't even going to go find her until I told you to. <laughs> I guess we see you wears the pants in this relationship. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Out. You're <laughs> acting like a couple of 12-year-olds. Look. Look, I can see me being here is going to cause problems for you guys. So maybe Mark's right. What? Maybe it's time for me to leave. Vicki, you can't leave. No. It's all right. I'll leave first thing in the morning. Yeah? I see someone has helped you find a place to sleep. <laughs> yeah, some guy named... Og or something. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for everything. If there's anything we can do to help, Jack. You make such an offer so lightly, suppose I were to take you up on it. I guess we'd do what you ask. That's very kind. You are all welcome to stay, as long as you like. Uh, we may ask you to help with uh, daily tasks. Uh, laundry, cooking, things like this. That's fine. Lionel's a great cook. <laughs> Say what? He makes the best fish sticks I've ever eaten. <laughs> I pride myself I've never eaten a stick of fish. Uh, you have to get used to Lionel and Judd's sense of humor. Uh, they're uh, kind of weird. <laughs> uh, we are all weird in our own way. That being so, is not Grace a wonderful thing? Good point. Uh, I wanted to ask you, do you have a phone or an internet connection? Uh, of course. I just wanted to let her friends know we're okay. I think we can arrange something. Is there something else on your mind, Jacques? Oh. Well, uh, as I said, you are welcome to stay uh, as long as you like. Appreciate that. We come across so few believers here, uh, people who share our spiritual vision like you do. Don't look at me, bro. I'm new at this. I'm still trying to catch up with these two. I was hoping you would be willing to stay in France to help spread our message here. Um... You don't need to answer me right now. Please. Just think about it. Okay. Good night. Uh, 
when you say okay, are you saying okay, we'll think about it, or uh, okay, we'll stay? You thought about it, Lionel? Cover. First flight out? Straight up, Holmes. <laughs> So here's what I'm wondering. What's that? Where is home? What do you mean? Our crew in the States has moved around so much in the last few years. Who knows where they're going to be and how are we going to catch up with them? I'm not even sure where they are now. Last I heard, they were staying with some guy named Colin and his wife. Maybe we should stay here. What? I don't want to, but what if God wants us to? All right. You and me better have a serious talk about what God wants and don't want. What do you mean? Well, first you're all gung-ho about getting back to the States. Now you're thinking about staying in France? Maybe I'm having a hard time figuring out what I'm accomplishing for God. If anything. What's that supposed to mean? We just spent, what, almost two years in Israel? I mean, what did we accomplish? Hey, don't look at me. I don't have all the answers. But I believe he's using us. Look at Zvan. We pulled him out of an earthquake, and he becomes a poster boy for Carpathia. Next thing you know, he's killing people on stage. Tell me how we're supposed to be proud of that. Yeah... Hey, the fact is, if we hadn't snapped up Zvan, Weston wouldn't be a Christian right now. Okay, but what are we doing here, in this house? Hiding out, hooking up with other believers, planning our trip home. Do you know what Weston's thinking? Hadn't said for sure, but I do know he's checking out co-op flights to the States. I guess that answers that question. Look, man, I don't want to have to play the Vicky card. Come on! All I'm saying is I want to go home, and I'm pretty sure part of you does too. Okay. All right. Let's see what Weston's dug up. Hey, Vic. Are you okay? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> just a little upset right now. I can imagine. Anything I can do? Uh, Want to help me pack? <laughs> Sorry, you're on your own there. If I helped you pack, I'd be consorting with the enemy. Mm -hmm. I might get in trouble. <laughs> I wouldn't want that. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Bruce Barnes. Ryan. Chaya. Natalie. Mm -hmm. Good people. Dead people. Uh, that's not your fault, you know. Then why are they dead? Bruce never hurt anyone. Neither did Ryan or Haya. All they wanted was to tell other people about God. And that's what you Bruce wanted. dies from some wacky poison he gets in Tideland or some place like that. Ryan and Haya get killed in the earthquake. Judd? Judd? Yes, Judd. Judd's not dead. Where did that come from? I'm just tired. Tired of losing friends. Tired of being on the run all the time. I'm tired of people trying to kill me. I'm just plain tired. And I wish Judd were here. Me too. I'm trying to get a hold of Marshall up in Avery. Make sure it's okay for me to head up there. No answer? Not yet. With my luck, GC found him and arrested everyone. <sighs> Come on, Vicky. This isn't like you. Yeah, well, I've never been voted out of the group before. <laughs> you weren't voted out. If we took a vote, you wouldn't be going anywhere. Well, I'm not going to stick around if it's going to cause problems. There's going to be problems whether you're here or not. <laughs> Tell that to your boyfriend. I did. He knows I'm right. Vicky, grab Tanya and get up here. What's going on? We got visitors. I'll let you go when I get my daughter back. Let her go. I'll blow your head off. I want to talk to Tanya. Hang on. Now be cool. We can work this out. Save your sweet talking. I want my daughter. I'm right here, Dad. Tanya, get over here. Get away from that. Where's Ty? He's back home. Home? Oh, you mean in the cave? Your brother is lost to me. You can still be redeemed. Let go of my wife. Tanya, get over here. I don't want any more trouble. Strange way of showing it. You want to talk about strange? You there, redhead. I showed you hospitality, gave you the benefit of my teaching. This is how you repay me by stealing my daughter from she me? She didn't steal me, Dad. I wanted to go. You've been brainwashed, eating their drug food. You need to be purged. Let my wife go now. Give me back my daughter. Let her go, Pop. Ty, what are you doing? I said let her go. Please. 
You don't go giving me orders, Ty. Now I ain't gonna let her go till your sister agrees and comes home with us. Tanya isn't coming home with us, Pop. What? You're gonna let the nice lady go, or I'm gonna turn you into a piece of Swiss cheese. I might even help you out on that. You know I'm a better shot than any of you, and you know I ain't in my right mind right now. You haven't been in your right mind since your mama died. Whatever. Listen, Pop, I don't want to shoot you, and you don't want to die. Why don't you let that lady go and leave? All right. Thank you. All right, Ty. You got your way on this one, but we ain't done here by a long shot. I'll be back. Do you have to? I'm gonna come back and get you, Tanya, soon. Don't bother. And you! I don't even want to see you again. Then don't come back, because he's staying with me. Y'all got your big ideas. Well, we'll just see how they shake out, won't we? Why do I think we haven't heard the last of him? Guys, guess what? I'm too tired to guess. Yeah, what's up? Your friend Chang, he just emailed me with some co-op flights. Yeah? So there's one leaving from Saarbrücken in two days, going to South Carolina. Is that the closest we can get to Illinois? Well, there's a flight from Rome to somewhere in Kansas, but we gotta wait two weeks for that one. And we need to get to Rome. Where's Sauerbraten or whatever? Uh, Saarbrücken. Uh, it's on the German-French border. We should be able to get a ride there. Now all we gotta do is tell Jacques. Tell me what. We, um... Uh, we found a flight back to the States. Uh, the Trip Force Co-op has a flight leaving from Saarbrücken in a couple of days. I suppose we'll need to arrange a way for you to get to Saarbrücken. You don't mind if we want to leave? Mind? Of course I'd be happy to have you stay with us, but it would be selfish for me to make you. If you feel the Lord leading you home, I cannot stop you. Uh, I, I guess we do. And I shall fill up my gas tank. Saarbrücken is many kilometers from here. Have some more bread, Ty. Uh, Becky bakes it herself. <laughs> I still think this is dangerous. Your dad's toting around a loaded gun and you think the bread is dangerous? My pop's a little nuts, but he's not bad to have as a friend. Sure enough, better than an enemy. <laughs> when you're his enemy, he's likely as not to prop a stick of dynamite in or something you love and blow it all up. Dynamite? Mm-hmm. Your dad has dynamite? Yeah, lots of it. Great. If I know him, he's fixing some blasting caps up right now. To do what? I'm not sure I want to know. Ty, your dad is back. Yeah, too late. I'm not fooling around anymore. I want my daughter and I want her right now. Ever considered she might not want to go with you? Because you brainwashed her with your false teachings and perversions of the Bible. You should talk. I'm not going to argue with you anymore. I have no problem killing the whole lot of us to protect her from you. Man, you are seriously cuckoo. I'm protecting my daughter. Interesting approach. Careful, he's bound to have explosives. I do. And if Tanya doesn't come with... Whoa! Whoa, easy, cowboy. That's enough dynamite to put this hunk of Wisconsin in orbit. Don't do this, Dad! Come here, baby. Don't listen to him, Tanya. I'm not going with you. He lit it. I'm the only one that can stop it in time, too. Now, are you coming with me? No! Uh, Tanya... You better find something Stand to hide. Stand firm. No harm shall come to you. Who is this now? I am a messenger of the living God. What? Hey, my fuse! You who would harm the followers of the Christ shall be destroyed. Me? Go! Return to the hole where you came from. Return to the dirt from whence you came. You, you, you all got your tricks all monkeyed up now, don't you? Well, I'll find my way back here. You can count on that. He dropped all that dynamite. I'm gonna grab it. Be careful! Vicky, I have a message for you. For... for me? You must lead your friends from this place. To, to where? To your refuge, to the north. Your loved ones will rejoin you there. Loved ones? You mean... you mean Lionel and Judd? You are in danger as long as you stay in this place. Are my... loved ones okay? Yes. But one of them will suffer great pain and will not return home. What does that mean? What's going I got the dynamite. Where'd he go? Hey, what happened to our friend? He's gone. Was he an 
angel? He didn't say. All he said was that we're in danger as long as we stay here. It's hard to argue with a messenger from God. I'd say it's time to go. I think you're right. All right, everyone, start packing. I want to be gone in an hour. Come on, Tanya. Mark, I need you to give me a hand with something. Okay, hand me that bundle. You sure this is what you want to do? <laughs> do I want to blow up the house I've lived in for years and spent lots of money and time fitting out to be a major base of military operations? No. Well, then why are you? Why? Because uh, I do not want Cyrus Nutcase or the GC to find this place and use any of it against me. Uh, uh, besides, we can't take all the hardware with us anyway. Well, I think uh, Conrad and Vicky packed up as much of the computers and video equipment as we can take. All right. I think we're all set. I just need to hook the fuse up to this little trigger. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Just something I had lying around. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Get everybody by the cars. Okay. Okay, everyone's out of the house. You sure this is what you want to do? Don't you think it'll work? That much dynamite? Yeah. Fine. Let's do it before I change my mind. Okay. Fire in the hole! Whoa! Get down! Are you guys okay? Uh, yeah. I think so. <sighs> sure you used enough dynamite there, Butch? I think the plane is not coming. They'll be here soon enough. Do we know the pilot? Uh, some guy named uh, Whalum. Uh, Lionel Whalum. You serious? The dude's name is Lionel? Well, that's what Chang's email said. He's been flying for the co-op for a while now. Is he reliable? He'll be here. A name like Lionel, he's got to be solid. Maybe his mom just liked toy trains. You got to be <laughs> honest with you, man. I've never even seen a Lionel train in my life. Well, I had a huge set. Really? Oh, yeah. Big tabletop deal. Hmm. Yeah, it was great. What happened? Well, yeah, I discovered girls, music, and airplanes. Deadly combination. <laughs> You're telling me? Oh, here we go. Incoming. I think this is your man. You sound disappointed. I am. I hoped you would stay. You seem like fine men. Well, look at it this way. We'll get to spend eternity together. You are right. Thanks for everything. Thank you. You have reminded me that what we do has meaning. Tell me about it. Tell everyone about it. I will. I will. Commander Fulciri, how does the global community plan to combat guerrilla Judites, the ones who stay in small mobile packs? The global community has begun a program in several areas of the United Carpathian States where citizens are specially licensed to hunt, for want of a better term, individuals or groups who don't have Potentate Carpathia's loyalty mark. Bounty hunters? Essentially. Follow up to that, sir. We understand there's been a flurry of activity in southern Wisconsin. Can you provide details? Global community peacekeeping forces captured and killed an entire nest of rebels. The leader has been identified as Cyrus Spivey, leader of a cult-like militia group. A militia group? So they weren't followers of Ben Judah? It appears they weren't. Not that it matters. They were criminals. They were stockpiling weapons to use against the global community. None of them wore potentate Carpathia's loyalty mark. Clearly, they were a danger to the citizens and governing body of the global community. And as such, it was our duty to neutralize them and destroy them. Which is what we did. Hey, you boys comfy? Never better. We going home, aren't we? Uh, you guys are. Yeah, but you're coming with us, right? Well, I've been thinking, and, uh, talking to Lionel. Say what? Oh, no, no, not you. Uh, Lionel Whalen. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I knew that. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go on with him, uh, and deliver these supplies to all the other co-op setups in the States. Really? Yeah. I guess I, I just want to do something important. Not that what you'll be doing isn't important. Hey, we haven't got a clue what we'll be doing. Hey, it's up to me. I want to sleep for the next couple years. <laughs> uh, something tells me you won't be able to stay out of trouble that long. Something tells me you're right. Episode 62, A Price on Your Head. Lionel says we gotta roll. He can't wait any longer. 
figured you guys needed to get going. Hey, your contacts ought to be around any minute. What were their names again, Tom and what? Uh, Luke. Yeah, 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 Tom and Luke Gowan. And we know them how? They're friends of Carl Menninger. You remember him? I remember hearing about him. I never met him. Well, that's what I meant. I also remember hearing that nobody's heard from him in a while. Not since that whole satellite school dealio went bad. Yeah, and Vicky B had to sign off for good. whalen has been working with these guys for a while. Uh, he says they're solid. And solidly two hours late. Uh, well, if you want, uh, you can come with us to Portland. I don't know how you'll get back to Wisconsin from there, though. If they don't show any time soon, we can meet them at that shack he gave us directions to. Oh, well, fair enough. Any idea when I'll see you guys again? Uh, if nothing else, when Jesus comes back. In less than two years now. Great. Only less than two years of people trying to kill us. Be cool, man. Yeah, you too. And, uh, Judge. Yeah? You find that lady. You do what you gotta do. Uh, okay. See you guys. See you around. See you. What is it, boy? Are they here? Charlie! Vicky! Oh, oh, Vicky, we all <laughs> missed you so much! I miss you too, Charlie. <laughs> Do you too, you little furball? Are you guys here to stay? <laughs> Looks that way. Oh, this is great! All my friends are here! You need to see Janie and Melinda and Josie and Tom Fogarty. I will, Charlie. <laughs> we have plenty of time. Right, Phoenix? <sighs> Plenty of time. Am I alive today? No, seven. Am I a real person? Nope, eight. Did they make books or movies about me? Yes and yes, nine and ten. That was one question. Did they make books? One. Did they make movies? Two. That's cheating. How's that cheating? You asked two questions. Whatever. Did I live in America? No, 11. Am I Sherlock Holmes? How'd you guess that? I just guessed, is that right? Yeah, but how'd you know? I told you, I just guessed. <laughs> Whatever. How much further do you think the cabin is? We should see it any time now. In fact, there it is now. You sure that's it? What do you mean? Well, we ain't never been here before. We don't know these guys. We ain't even been in this country for more than six hours in the last two years. Almost. Uh Almost two years. All I'm saying is, let's be careful. Sounds good to me. What do you recommend? Well, let's sneak around the back and see if there's a window we can look in or something. All right. Follow me, Sherlock. Judd, stop! What? There's a trip wire on that tree. You were just about to kick it. Oh, good eyes, bro. I never saw it. Hey, you think these Godwin dudes would be setting up trip wires around their house? Maybe. I'm sure they don't want GC wandering around. Yeah. Something hinky about all this. Oh, uh, whoa, get down! No way he could have got loose. I'm telling you, I hear something. They got guns. That kid ain't getting out of What kind of, of gun truck. is that? He tied him right good. Well, maybe that other kid came and get him. That's why we left him out here anyways. Uh, I hope this isn't you Tom. check Luke. yonder, I'll check here. someone tied up in the truck. They're waiting for someone to come and try and rescue him. Yeah, but it sounds like they aren't expecting two people. One of us can distract them while the other one gets to whoever's in that truck. Okay, who's doing what? I'll distract him. You get him. Hold up, Chief. You may have a better throwing arm than me, but I'm still faster. Are you kidding Let me? Let me distract him, okay? That way, if it comes to blows, I don't want any blood on your conscience. You're thinking about that dude in Jerusalem you punched out? Yeah, maybe. Uh, Judge. I may have killed him, Lionel. You gotta get over that. You did what you had to do. Just do this for me, okay? Fine. Next time, I run diversion. Fine. Where should we meet up? That road we cross half mile back. Yeah, yeah, by the stop sign. Okay, stay sharp, brother. Me too. All right, Jetto. See what you got in mind. A rock? Dude, you ain't never gonna hit that hasty. Ah! Something hit me! Nice throw. What? Oh, something hit me in the head! Get moving, bro. Someone threw a rock at me! Uh, over that way! Uh, don't let him get you! Uh, get him! Here we go! Yo! Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not with those other two guys. Let me get you loose. Mm -hmm. Dude, I don't understand what you're saying. Let me find something to get your hands free. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Swiss Army knife, hold still. Mm -hmm. You want me to pull that off your face? Mm -hmm. Fine, fine, that's cool. I'll let you do it. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. Shh, shh. 
Who are you? I'm Tom Gowan. Are you, Judd? Lionel Washington. <sighs> Judd's the one who created the diversion. Let me get your feet. Thanks. Uh, all right. Let's get out of here before they come back. I gotta find out if they have my brother, too. I didn't see anyone else. No, let's have a quick peek in the house. All right, let's go. Uh, you all right? Uh, your leg asleep. Well, give it some coffee. We need to move. Yeah, yeah. I'll check around the front. You stay put. Just check in the window. There isn't a back room enough. Right. All right, let's see what we got in here. Nothing. Good. Anything? No, ain't nobody in there. Then they don't have her. That's some good news. Let's go find Judd. Which way? Uh, over that way, by the road. Can you run? Yeah, I should be okay. All right, let's go. Hold it. What? Either you take one more step and your friend is dead. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. We got that uh, pal of yours that was heaving rocks at us. We got Judd. Is this part of the diversion? I wish it was. Get on the ground. Now! Now! Some rescue you got going on here. Judge the brains of the operation. Well, good. That definitely sets my mind at ease. For those of you who don't know, I'm Marshall Jameson, and I'd like to welcome you to Avery, Wisconsin. You'll have a chance to chat up your friends in a little bit. Before you do, there's a few housekeeping points we need to serve up. While you're staying in Avery, there will be certain expectations. First, you'll be studying your Bible every day. Second, you'll be helping with the day-to-day -day chores, which include cooking and cleaning. We have to eat Vicky's cooking? <laughs> well, we'll have someone supervise her. Third, you'll be expected to help with commodity co-op operations. Does the co-op use this place very often? Not really, but we are on their list of secure locations. Oh. They'll fly in and out of Hudson on the upper St. Croix River, and we need to be ready to help them move and store items. And that's all? Move and store stuff? For now. The hmm. time may come when we'll all need to travel to various places. I can't imagine we're going to stay completely off the GC radar for the next two years. We'll have to see what happens. All right, uh, now come and see your friends. you guys do to him? Yeah, you'll find out if you don't shut up. Let's get his hands good this time. Don't want nobody getting loose again. Yeah, we got them all. Ain't nobody left to rescue him. Hey, hey, how much you think we get for these here? Oh, mm, 2,000 nicks each. <laughs> <laughs> More money my daddy made this whole life. Uh, <laughs> hey, anybody ever tell you guys that Jesus is coming back so much? Shut up! I tried before you got here. They wouldn't listen. Seriously, Jesus is coming back soon. Hey, wonder how much we could get for him. <laughs> for Jesus. <laughs> now, boy, you don't quit you yet, but I'm going to dash you with a bottle. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mama told me all about Jesus. What happened to her? She died when I was 13. Yeah. I seen what God did for her, figured he could keep it. So what did the GC ever do for you? Well... <laughs> They're about to make me rich. Yeah. Don't suppose there's anything we could do to change your mind. Yeah, about one become rich? Ha, I reckon not. No, no. Uh, now, you three just lie still. <laughs> and soon, this will all be over. <laughs> Which station are we bringing these guys to? Watch the road. Sorry. Taking them to Columbia. I told you that. That's got to be three hours from here. You got something else you're going to do today to make a couple thousand bills? Uh, what, what's that? There's uh, somebody shooting at me. Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 Al, Al, you okay? Al, wake up. Uh, hang on, I'll get you out of here. I I'm coming. Surprise. Who are you? Oh. Luke Gowan's my name. And I'm looking for my brother. That sounds like him there. Good look for you, Tommy. So you found some friends. 
I told you, if you just keep your mouth shut, people would like you more. Mm -hmm. Ow! Ow! C cut it out! Get these guys out, they're the ones we're supposed to meet. Let me get that tape. Oh, be careful with that thing. I'm cutting you free, and you're telling me to be careful? Just hurry up, will you? Here we go. Let me set Jed in this chair. You feeling any better there, partner? I still feel pretty woozy. What'd they do to you? Shot him with one of these. Where'd you get that? I heard it from our friends back there. Looks like a ray gun or something. Yeah, huh? It's some kind of super conductor thingy-majiggy. Is that the technical term? I don't know what it does when you shoot something with it. I do. Listen, you guys got a phone we could use? What's the matter? Don't like the company? Nah, nothing like that. We've been out of the States for a couple years. We got some friends might like to know we're okay. And back. Sort of. Hang on a sec. What's that? Scrambler. Watch. Take an ordinary sat phone, plug it into here, and you go secure. That's pretty nice. Just remember to dial from the scrambler, not the handset. Luke, give me a hand with the supplies. Yep. All right, dog. Uh, who's making uh, this call? Be my guest. I'm just kidding. Just let me say hey before you hang up. You guys act like we're married. <laughs> See Phoenix actually get to act like a dog. He really likes it here, I can tell. Well, what about you, Charlie? Oh, I like it a lot. Marshall's really nice. And Janie's been nicer, too. Well, Cheryl's acting weird, but she's gonna have a baby soon, I guess. Oh, how do you like Tom and Josie Fogarty? <gasps> They're really nice. Yeah. They're gonna raise Cheryl's baby when it's born. So everybody's nice, huh? Yeah, and Marshall showed us some verses last week. I wrote them down for you. You you wrote them for me? I wrote them down for your wedding. My wedding? <laughs> wait, 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 what makes you think I'm going to get married? Well, everybody knows you're going to get married. You and Jod. Well, Charlie, <laughs> he hasn't even asked me. What what is what is that Song of Solomon? Um <clears throat> for love is as strong as death. Love flashes like fire, the brightest kind of flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can rivers drown it. <laughs> that's, that's nice, Charlie. I thought of you and Judd when I read it. Hey, Vic. Yeah? Darian says you may want to hightail it down to the office. Why? You got a phone call. Oh? <gasps> See? I told you! <laughs> Seriously, this isn't someone doing a really good Judd imitation. Wow, when did you become such a cynic? <sighs> it's not like I haven't been disappointed before. Well, trust me, you'll be disappointed again. <laughs> but it's me, and I am in the States. <laughs> Hang on. Are you standing in front of a firing squad and calling me was your last request? Yeah, you caught me. It was this or a cigarette, and since I don't smoke... Oh my, aren't we the last of the romantics? <laughs> Count on it. <laughs> Seriously, you're back in the States? Yeah, South Carolina. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. Now we just need to figure out how we're going to get up there. Mm -mm. You sound tired. Uh, it's probably just the after effects of getting shot. What? You got shot? Uh, it was some wacky GC taser thing. It just stuns you or something. I'm fine. Don't scare me like that, okay? What's the matter? I... What? I got a message before we left Dial's house. From who? Uh, an angel? <laughs> Pretty sure. I'd believe it. Well, he said that I'd see my loved ones again, but one of them would not return whole. What does that mean? I don't know. Actually, I've been trying not to think about it. Lionel says you guys want to talk to me? Yeah. We've been monitoring the GC channels of communication. I'd say. It looks like you guys could run a small government from this room. You ever hear of GC Commander Full Siri? Yeah, just what Vicky told me. Some bigwig up north. Actually... He's taken over the entire eastern states, everything east of the Mississippi. Okay, so? Those two guys who grabbed us. Yeah? They were bounty hunters. Bounty hunters? I didn't know they still existed. Oh, yeah, and they're not usually the most savory of people. This full Siri guy has unleashed bounty hunters on anyone who doesn't have Carpathia's mark. You're saying it's open season on Christians? It's open season on anyone without Carpathia's mark. All right, so where are we going with all this? 
Unfortunately, nobody's going anywhere for a while. What do you mean? After what just happened to us, we gotta let things cool off. Come on. If you left now, you wouldn't make it ten miles before those two morons tracked you down. You expect us to just sit here until Jesus comes back? I don't expect it to be that long. Just a few months, while this stuff plays a out. A few months? I don't think so. Calm down, will ya? It's for your own good. And don't forget that you'd be in a GC prison if it weren't for us. No, your brother would be in a GC prison. We got caught trying to rescue Judge, him. Just listen for a second. Listen to what? You're telling me I'm stuck here until you feel like letting me go? I got people counting Please on- Please shut up and listen to him. Fine. Talk. We've been doing pretty good down here because we play it safe. Yeah, it doesn't always work out the way we think it will, but so far God has blessed us. We aren't starving, and the GC aren't knocking down our door. We know you want to get to Wisconsin. I'm asking you man to man. Can you just wait a little longer till things cool down? Fine. We'll wait. It's all we're asking. Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta go lay out the new plan to Lionel. I'm sure you'll hear the joyous laughter all the way down the hall. What do you make of these miracle workers they're talking about on the news? They're either demons or humans indwelt by demons. I don't see God involved in any of that. Sounds like they're just ripping off what Jesus already did. Oh, that's all Satan can do. What's all who can do? Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. How are Josie and Cheryl doing? Both doing fine. That midwife you hooked us up with. Wanda? Yeah, she says Cheryl's right where she should be with the baby. Everybody's healthy. Yeah, except for me. My neck's getting sore. You mind splitting a few timbers, Tom? Not at all. It's all yours. Set me up, Vicky. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on dinner. And some Ben Gay. <laughs> All right. So how you holding up, Vicky? Uh, me? <laughs> yeah. We haven't really had a chance to sit down and chew the fat since you guys got here. Not one-on-one, -on -one, anyway. Oh, well, you've been kind of busy. I've been kind of busy. But we gotta make time for friends, right? <laughs> I suppose. I haven't really even heard how you became a Christian. Well, between you guys and my wife praying for me, I never stood a chance. <laughs> I guess we ganged up on you pretty good, huh? After a while, I figured I didn't have one good reason to not believe. And plenty of reasons why I should. That's awesome. Eventually, I realized that I couldn't keep being a cop in Carpathia's government, believing like I did. How'd you end up here in Avery? Josie knew a gal from her underground Bible study who told me about Marshall. When it came time for me to split off from the force, there was only one choice for us, so here we are. The world sure has changed since we first met, hasn't it? You ain't kidding. You hear anything from Judd? Oh, he's still stuck in South Carolina. He tries to call once a week. But you can't wait to see him. Why does everybody keep saying that? <laughs> Vicky. Let me tell you something. When I first met you two, what, six years ago? Yeah, about that. I knew you two were perfect for each other. <clears throat> what are you talking about? We argued all the time. Yeah, maybe. But the bottom line is you still respected each other. I guess. We haven't even seen each other for over two years. Everybody else is getting married. We've never even discussed it. If you're honest with yourself, I think you know what I mean. I know, I do. Yeah, I started writing a journal when I got here. It's kind of weird, but after a week or so, I started writing all my entries to Judd. <coughs> you mean like letters? Yeah, pretty much. Just telling him what I did and how I feel and <coughs> what I learned. <coughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Sure. Would you show Lionel that journal? No way! It's too personal. Well, that's what I'm saying. You feel different about Judd than you do all the others. Different from Lionel, from Mark, Conrad. I suppose. That's how I know you two were made for each other. <clears throat> yeah, if he ever gets back here. Come on. If I know Judd, He's figuring out how he's going to get back up here as we speak. Ah! 
We don't want any of these guys getting our equipment. Come on, Lando, let's go! Follow me! We got company! You guys all right? Clear! Uh, let's go! I don't see Luke! He'll be here! It's Tom, look out! Come on. Good eyes, bro! Nice shoot! Keep moving, this whole force is gonna be airborne in a second! I thought I heard you mention Claymores? As soon as Luke is clear, he's gonna... Go! Ah! 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 This is no time to nap, boys. We gotta move. Hey, you guys sure know how to make an exit. Any sign of a tail? Nope. And there's no one following us either. So where to now? We got some friends down by Charleston that can put us up. They've been doing well against the GC for a while. Further south? You got a better idea? Yeah. Yeah, pull over. What? Pull over. What's going on? I think this is where Lyle and I take off. What? I was hoping you'd say that, bro. I don't want to go any further south. All right, we'll take it from here on foot. You're nuts. Yesterday's news, my friend. We've been emailing other believers. There are lots of places where we can hook up with other co-op safe houses. You're serious? You want to do this? That's just plain stupid. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing. Right? You don't have to agree with us. But any prayer you want to toss up for us, we'd appreciate it. I think you guys would be more appreciative. Don't even go there, Tom. All right, we do appreciate what you've done. Now it's time for us to move on. Well, if that's what you want, fine. Go. Thanks. Lionel's right, though. You can keep praying for us. Yeah, we can do that. Thanks. See you guys later. Hopefully not sooner. See you. Later. Ready to go for a little walk? Sure. I got nothing else to do right now. Good enough. So... Which way do you think uh, is north? Dear Judd, <laughs> I still think it's funny that I write this journal to you. <laughs> Chances are I'll never let you read it anyway. <laughs> well, things here are crazy as always. Cheryl is going to have her baby soon. Tom and Josie Fogarty are going to raise it for her. At least that's the plan. Conrad and Mark don't seem to want to kill each other as much these days. Conrad has been helping Janie with her Bible studies. Yes, Janie, studying the Bible. Remember when she wanted to turn us all into the GC? And all this just reminds me of how much I miss you. And Lionel, too. <laughs> Getting your phone calls or emails really makes my day. Every day, I pray that you'll be here soon. Until you are, I hope you're well. Episode 63, Major Loss. Are you sure that's the Ohio River? Not completely, but it, it seems to be the right place. So that means we walked all the way through Kentucky. I guess so. So all we got is uh, Indiana and Illinois left. Uh, we kind of need to get to the far side of Wisconsin. That means it's like three states then. Pretty much. Think your facial hair will fill in by then? <laughs> Maybe. Then I can look just like you, Grizzly Adam. Sorry, I ran out of razors somewhere in North Carolina. <laughs> I still had that uh, uh, Swiss Army knife I found in that truck. I'm not shaving with a pocket knife. Well, you probably could. I mean, it's pretty sharp. Yeah, forget about it. Man, I don't see a bridge anywhere nearby. You think he can swim this river? Does a camel have humps? Not if he's a llama. Then he's not a camel. Good point. Well, let's go get our feet wet. <sighs> <sighs> I 
You know what? Second thought, that river is moving pretty fast. Second thoughts? Well, like you said, I mean, I don't see no bridges. It's cross here or go way out of the way. Yeah. W remember in the Bible when God stopped the Jordan so the Israelites could get through? Yeah, that was cool. You think he'll do that for us now? Man, it'd be nice. God, looks like we gotta cross a river. So, any chance you could... Quit messing around, man. Come on. Hey, stranger things have happened. <sighs> hey, hey, careful. It's getting pretty deep quick. Yeah, and cold. Something tells me we won't be able to just walk across this one. Uh, yeah. Ah, keep, ah, getting pulled down free. Yeah, just keep kicking. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Whoa, what was that? Are you okay? Water. You want something to drink? Oh, I think my water broke. Is that... Bad? Oh, uh, not if you're pregnant. Hang on, I'll call Wanda. Uh, should I boil some water or something? Oh! Okay, okay, it's fine. Okay. If it'll keep you busy. Okay. Almost there! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Maybe. That wasn't... So bad. If you want to do it again, I'll wait. That's okay. I just want to get to New Boston and get a warm shower. As long as there's no more rivers. Are you sure you said a hardware store? Hardware store on McGovern Street. That's got to be it. As soon as the coast is clear, we can cross. Nobody's gonna get a good look at us anyway. Let's go. Hold on! No! Whoa! Sorry, Chief. All right. It looks clear. Let's go. Make sure your hat's down over your forehead. All right. Now what? I figure we just go in. Good morning, fellas. Uh, what can I help you with? Uh, hi. This is Honaker's, right? <laughs> like the sign says. A friend of ours sent us your way. He said you could set us up. Set you up? You need a crescent wrench, roof and hammer, drywall, screws, duct tape, whatever you need, we got it. Yeah, uh, okay, listen, I think we may have made a mistake. <laughs> What'd you expect? You think I was gonna ask you to move in? Help you get back to your friends up north? Are you Eustace Honaker? For the last 53 years, you must be Lionel and Judd. Uh, sorry, pal. You got the wrong guys. Oh, I get it. Uh, you're looking at the mark on my head. Look a little closer. Uh, it's a fake. That's a sticker. You are Eustace, right? <laughs> like I said. <laughs> God, come on, guys. Yeah, we'll get you set up comfortable. Uh, you're going to be here for a while. Whoa, what does that mean? Yeah, we got to be on our way as soon as possible. Yeah, as soon as possible. But that ain't going to be for a while. Seems someone spotted you two crossing the river. So what? A couple of guys swimming across the river can't be that big a deal. People around here are jumpy. They're sure that someone around here is hiding Judahites. Uh, the nerve! And that explains the fake mark. Yeah, don't leave home without it. <laughs> so what are you saying? We gotta stay here till people forget they saw us cross the river? Ah, it won't be long, I promise. A couple of months at the most. A couple of months? How come everyone now, says that? Now, let's get you set up. I reckon you'll want to contact your folks up north with the good news about your progress. You guys mind if I come in? Come on in. What's going on in here? Vicky's volunteering to babysit for you. No problem. A lot. Has anybody heard anything? Well, I just came back from Cheryl's cabin. She's in good hands. Are you excited to be a father again? I am. This is especially great for Josie. She's been missing her boys since they disappeared six years ago. I didn't know you two had kids. From her first marriage. The night of the rapture, they vanished. I bet that was tough. Josie was a mess. She became a Christian a couple of weeks later. Maybe that's news. Come on in. Hi. Any news, Wanda? Is everyone okay? There were some problems. The baby had the umbilical cord wrapped around his neck, choking it. But you got it taken care of, right? Everyone's okay? Oh, everyone's fine. Well, hang on. Did you say the cord was wrapped around his neck? Oh, good for you, Tom. You were listening. Congratulations. It's a boy. All hey, right, Tom. Well, what do you know about oh, that? Huh? You gotta see him. He's gorgeous. Come on.
Dear Judd, if we were talking on the phone, I'd give you an update on Cheryl and little Ryan and Tom and Josie. Let's just say Ryan is three months old now and growing like a weed. Tom and Josie are the most amazing parents. You'd never guess they weren't Ryan's actual birth parents. Cheryl seems to be struggling though. She's been crying more in the last couple weeks, but when someone asks her about it, she says she's fine. I don't know, she's acting pretty weird. Gotta go, need to do some cooking. I know, I know. Becky's been teaching me a lot. Janie and Melinda are actually pretty good cooks. I'll let you and Lionel be the judge when you get here. Your friend. Ugh. Love, Vicky. P.S. Sure wish you guys would knock off the sightseeing and get here already. Do you even see any roads anywhere? Man, I haven't seen a road in hours. I think we're safe out here, though. Well, how's the charge on that phone uses, Gavis? Good. Why? You want to order a pizza? No, nah, man. I was just wondering how it's holding up. Yeah, I think he said it's an hour of talk time. Gonna need sunshine to recharge. It don't help us night hours, does it? You get somebody you need to talk to for an hour in the middle of the night? No, but I bet you might be able to come up with a name or two. Or one. Not a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> How much rather you want to go tonight? If we really push it, we can get to Terre Haute by morning. Um, we have any quad connections in Terre Haute? Nope, but it's that much closer to Wisconsin. Lead on. I just hope this ridge isn't as big as it looks. Whoa, watch your step, man. The dirt is really loose here. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Hey, check it out. You can see the city to our right. We must have made good time. Either that or that's not tear out. So, down here is the river Eustace measure. Yeah, I'm guessing. If this is the Wabash and the other side is Illinois. Whoa! Whoa! Ah. Ah. Look out. You don't want to get brained by one of those. Man, I'm trying to... Ah. Whoa! Yeah. You all right? I hit my foot. Oh, I'm all right. Ah. Ah. Lionel, look out! Ah. Yeah. Lionel! Yeah. Lionel! Ah. Lionel! Ah. Lionel! Ah. 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 Get this thing off my arm! Hang on, I'll try to get under it somehow. Okay, when I lift it, you pull your arm out, okay? Lionel? Lionel? Lionel, stay with me! All right, Judo, it looks like you're on your own here. One, two, three! It didn't even move! This thing's the size of a monster! Lionel! Lionel! Lionel, wake up! Lionel! Yeah! Lionel, let's go. What's going on? I can't feel my arm! Relax, relax, just relax. Yeah. This rock is on your arm, all right? We're gonna need to get you out of here. How? I don't know yet. Can you feel anything? No. No! I can't feel anything at all! All right. I can't feel my fingers! Relax, relax, you gotta take it easy, okay? You're probably bleeding, and the more excited you get, the more blood you're gonna lose. Listen to me. The good news is, it's just on your hand and your forearm, okay? What? What are you... What are you doing with your belt? I'm gonna make a tourniquet with it. I'm gonna put it around just above your elbow. Yeah. And we're gonna tighten it up. Let me find something. Oh, there we go. Why are you? I'm right here. I just need a branch. And we're gonna use it to tighten the tourniquet. Boy scout. Yeah, you got that right. You can feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. All right, now look. I want you to hold this, all right? Hold it as tight as you can. But you gotta release it every 15 minutes or so. Let some blood get back into your hand. You gonna leave me here? Yeah, you gotta stay calm though, bro, all right? I can't get this rock off you by myself. I'm gonna need help. And then we're gonna need help fixing your arm. There's only so much I can do, and I think I already did it. Okay? Why are you coming back? As soon as I can, I promise. I want you to try and call Vicky and Darian and see if they can tell you how to get in touch with some Christians around here or something. Hopefully, they'll be able to find you here if I'm not back. Hey, Amy. Yeah? Pray for me. I already started. Okay, you can button your shirt up. So I'm okay. Physically, you seem to be just fine. 
It's mentally that everyone is concerned about. I don't see what the big deal is. I just feel down. I know. There's even a term for it. Postpartum depression. It's not uncommon. So why'd they call you? I'm sure I'll get over it soon. They're just concerned. You're not eating much. You're losing a lot of weight. I just had a baby. Just relax. Your friends are worried, that's all. Yeah. Well, maybe they should worry about someone else. She's obviously depressed. What I don't know is whether this is regular postpartum depression or if she's upset about something else. Well, she said before Ryan was born that she wished she hadn't made the deal with the Fogartys. The big question is whether she's going to do something about it. Hopefully. Hang on a second. Hello? Vicky. Lionel? Are, are you all right? I need your help. a stranger in a strange land here. If there's someone inside this hospital who can help me, please lead me to them. And God, please be with Lionel. Keep him alive until I get back. Give him peace. Amen. All right. Here we go, kid. Into the lion's den. Okay, keep talking, Lionel. Keep talking. I'm going to hand the phone over to Wanda. She's going to talk to you. Is she a doctor? Sort of. What sort of a she, doctor? She's a midwife, but she knows a lot about medicine. Here she is, okay? Here you go. Lionel? Yeah? I'm Wanda. I need to get some info first, okay? Yeah. Vicky says a large rock is on your arm. Yeah. Can you see your elbow, or is it under the rock? Uh, uh, I can see it. The rock is on my forearm and my hand. <sighs> Listen, can I say something? Go ahead. My friend went to go get help a while back. <sighs> my arm is crushed. There ain't nothing I can do for it. Yeah? As far as I see it, there's only one way to take care of this. I think I know what you're saying, but can you do it? I guess we'll just have to see. Yeah, I'm at the top of the uh, hold on, I got company. Lionel? What's going on? What is it? There's somebody above me. They can't see me right now. Someone's there. Yeah, Maybe they can help. Do you want me to call in the bird on this one? But they're GC. He says they're GC. Great. Roger, base. We'll continue the patrol. Two seven now. Sounds like they're leaving. Yeah, they're taking off. Okay. Let's talk through what we want to do here. Those guys could come back any time. Whatever I'm going to do, I got to get to it. Do you need immediate help? No, uh, I'm okay for now. You're sure? Any injury to the forehead can be serious. This ice pack is helping. Keep it there. And try and sit down if you can find a seat. Uh, it feels better when I move around. Dr. Peck will be with you soon. No, Dr. Peck will not be with you. Dr. Peck is on his way home. Dr. Peck's shift is done. Dr. Peck? Sorry, I'm Citizen Peck, which I plan on being for the next 39 hours. Okay, no problem. Dr. Vaughn will be on the floor soon. Cynthia, if by chance an OR nurse by the name of Melody should call in the next ten minutes, tell her I tried to call her back but was unsuccessful. Make sure she knows how sorry I am about last night. Oh? Then what? Well, at eleven minutes it won't matter what you tell her. I'll be gone. Whatever you say, doctor. Ten minutes. I think I can make that work. Hold it, doctor! Don't turn around! Relax, my wallet's in my back pocket. I'm not gonna put up a fight. Put your hands down. I don't want your money. Get in the car. You don't need the gun. If it's drugs you want... You're gonna do just like I tell you. Look, just tell me what you want. Maybe I can help you. All right, a friend of mine is hurt. What? His arm. It's trapped under a huge rock. This is a mercy hijacking? Kinda. Where? Just south of town. I mean where? On his arm? Above the elbow? Below the elbow? Below. I put a tourniquet on it to stop the bleeding. Well, aren't you the multi-talented carjacker? How long has he been there? A few hours. Okay. If we're lucky, he hasn't bled out yet. Here's what we're gonna do. Stay facing forward. Look, kid, you're not fooling anyone. I can see you in my mirror. I can also see that you don't have Carpathia's mark. Nice move with the ice pack inside. Let me guess, Judai? Christian. <laughs> you say potato. 
As I was saying, we're gonna go to my place. I've got plenty of supplies there. Then we'll go get your friend. All right. But don't forget, I have this. I will certainly keep that piece of pipe in mind in the event we run into a plumbing problem. Kids. Get in. Marty Peck. What? My name, Marty Peck. Most people just call me Peck, or Dr. Peck. Huh. You can call me Judd. You have a few scratches too, anybody look at those? It's no big deal. Nothing personal, but you smell like you haven't had a shower in a while. Your whole body is ripe for infection. We've been walking for a while. I'm sure that has nothing to do with you not having Carpathia's Mark. I told you why I don't have Carpathia's Mark, I'm a Christian. If I help you, will you teach me the secret handshake? Does this car have a jack? Chances are real good it does. What does that mean? It means if there is one, I've never seen it. If I blow a tire, I just push this button up here and get roadside assistance. Hmm. Same button I push if someone hijacks me. Yeah? Yeah. You haven't pushed it yet. It's still early, my young friend. Come on in, there's someone I want you to meet. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Big! FYI, Princess isn't crazy about visitors, so don't make any sudden moves. Oh, and if you start threatening me with that pipe of yours, Princess will turn into the Hound of the Baskervilles, if you get my meaning. Yeah. No need to expand on that. Good. So how do you like your eggs? What? Eggs. You do eat eggs, don't you? We don't have time for eggs. I'm not helping you on an empty stomach, and if you want me to save your friend, you'll eat an egg or two yourself. You look like you need it. Great. You know, from a medical standpoint, having the head separated from the neck, not so good. You don't have to be a doctor to know that. What's your point? The GC is going to catch you. The GC will cut off your head. Carpathia's mark brings a death worse than they could ever put me through. That's what you Judahites believe? What difference does it make? My friend doesn't have the mark either. Once you help him, you can turn us both over to the GC and collect your reward. Judd, does it look like I need the GC reward money? So what, you're not gonna turn us in? What'd you think of the eggs? They were great. Good answer. I won't turn you in. Ah. Oh. Thanks. Listen, I became a doctor to help people and to make a staggering fortune doing it. This crazy tattoo on my forehead allows me to keep practicing. Think of it as a fiscal decision. Sounds like you're not a Carpathia fan. He brings order to the world. That isn't so bad. I'm not buying the whole rising from the dead thing, though. You don't think he's a god? I help my patients survive all types of horrific injuries every day. What makes Carpathia any more of a god than me? In my book, nothing. But then I don't believe you're a god either. There's only one god. I appreciate your candor. How about we go see what that one god's done for your friend, shall we? I don't think lifting that rock is going to do too much. He probably saved his life with the tourniquet, but if he's exposed too long, things could get messy. You mean he could lose the arm? Oh, he's already lost the arm. The question now is, will the rest of them survive? All right, flat out here, Doc. Why are you helping me? You're willing to risk your life to save your friend? That's pretty rare. It's none of my business if the GC catches you. My job is to help people who are hurt. You sounded like such a hard case in the hospital. That's my bedside manner. Doctors can't come off too soft, especially these days. I saw some pictures back at your house. Your wife? Disappeared during the vanishings. She was a Christian, wasn't she? <laughs> oh, sure. Wasn't everybody that disappeared that day? Weren't they all holy rollers? Sorry. Doesn't matter. They're not coming back. I mean, I'm right about that, right? What does happen next, preacher boy? Will we ever see them again? Anyone who accepts God's gift of salvation will see the people who disappeared again. That's one of God's promises. Whoa! Huh. That's what frosts me about you people. What did I say? You're so sure about everything, and it's all in the future. Someday. Someday. Someday God's gonna make everything better. 
At least Carpathia is doing stuff now. Carpathia is all about now. The future for him is pretty bleak. Everyone who takes his mark- What? What happens to us? What's gonna happen to me? Taking the mark of Carpathia means you've made your choice. And now I've got to live with it? Not much point then, is there? Let's go get your friend. There's the river. The rock was right over this way. Does a friend of yours have a name? His name's Lionel. Lionel. He should be right over here. Lionel! Lionel! Take it easy. He might be in shock. No, this is it. This is the rock he was under. You thought the carjack was gonna lift that? Where is he? Hang, hang on a second. Shine a light over here. Is that blood? Yeah. It's a lot of blood. Oh, what happened? Looks pretty simple to me. Someone came and cut your friend out of there. Lionel? Lionel! Lionel! You sure this is where you left him? You saw the blood. This is where he was. Someone cut him out of there. Shine the light over there. Where? Give me that thing. There. Is that blood on that rock? Good eye. It looks like he left a trail. There he is! Lionel! Look out, look out. Let me see him. Uh, Lionel! He's still losing a lot of blood. Tighten up that tourniquet just a bit. Uh, uh, it's too dark for me to get a good look at him here. Let's get him back to my place. I can finish up on him there. Is it safe to move him? Not safer than leaving him here. Come on. Episode 64, Turning Up the Heat. So he's going to be okay? Well, the doc says he's going to be sore for a while. Fortunately, this house has a couple of pharmacies worth of meds, including what I'm told are just the right painkillers. Oh, sounds like somebody's been doing some stockpiling. Yeah, and if that doesn't get it done, he said he could bring more back from the hospital. But you don't even know this guy. Are you sure you can trust him? Well, he hasn't turned us in yet. Something tells me he's just as tired of the global community as we are. But you said he's got Carpathia's mark? Yeah, he said he got it so he could keep working. I don't know, Vic. I mean... <laughs> yeah, what are you supposed to do, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, I suppose this is gonna slow you up some more, huh? Yeah, I'm afraid so. I don't want to move Lionel before he's ready. Mm. And who knows how long that's gonna take. Mm. We'll keep praying. Yeah, well, don't stop. We mm. may need it now more than ever. All right, I better go check on Lionel. Well, you know, let us know if anything changes. I will. Talk to you later. Um, hey, Chad? Yeah? You're not avoiding that conversation you and I are going to have when you get back, are you? <laughs> no chance. I just don't want to have it over the phone. <sighs> that wouldn't be as special, right? No. <laughs> All right, I got to go. All right, I'll see you soon. Count on it. So, Lionel did it? Yeah. I guess <laughs> Wanda talked him through it. Oh, would you be able to cut your own arm off? Oh, tell me about it. you! I want to give a shout out to you all for being a great audience. Thank you, North Africa! And I want to say thank you to Global One for broadcasting this show live to the entire planet. <laughs> Stand by, camera two, and two. The global community if I tighten up that Fortunato. shot... Okay, good. Hold that. We're going to take you next. Remember what it was like on this Camera 5, stand by. And 5. Good, we're going to hold this for a moment. Unless he jumps off camera again. Could somebody get me something? Cream soda, popsicle, whatever. Something cold. Not enough there. Audio, punch up the applause, please. Louder. Good, thank you. Camera 7, we're going to go to your wide shot in a second. Have the move ready. Five, when we do, I want a two-shot Z-Van and the bass player. Seven, stand by. Seven, start your move. Take seven. What's this all about? Who are you? I am Christopher. Yeah? So what are you doing on my stage? I come to you on behalf 
of the true and living God. Looks like you come to try and ruin my act is what it looks like, chap. Silence, son of the devil. I speak of the risen God, Jesus Christ. Cut to something else. Anything. Word, now? It's not changing. Cut the God. feed. It's not stopping. Word, something has taken over the I'll system. shut it off. Get out of the way. Give me that chair. What are you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Do you think we're going to see sunrise tomorrow? Do you think we're going to survive some guy in a bathroom quoting the Bible on Carpentia's network? Do you think that's going to be okay with him? Huh? No? Correct! If I can't shut it down, I'm going to trash the equipment so it looks like I tried! Beware, Babylon! For your fall is coming, along with anyone who follows your lead. What are, you, what are you talking about? Do not take the mark, for it shall mean the death of your soul. Anyone who accepts the mark of the beast or worships his image seals their fate for all eternity. Accept the mercy of God instead. Do it now. Reach it, brother. What's going on? Every TV in the house just turned on. Yeah, the radios, too. Looks like someone's sending a message. That's insane. The GC would never let something like that go out over the air. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that they didn't have a choice. Who is that guy? Christopher? Running the mill angel. Messenger of God. I need a drink. Want a beer? No, thanks. It's an import. Ah, can't imagine what you paid for it. How's Lionel? Sleeping. He'll be fine. You'll need to change his dressing every couple of days. Where are you going? I can't be here 24-7. I appreciate your help. I know Lionel does, too. I'm a doctor, right? That's my job. A doctor working for the global community. You could have turned us in. Maybe I didn't want to be responsible for you two being executed. <laughs> Whatever your reason, thanks. Where should I take him? What? Where should I take Lionel? I mean, we can't stay here. No, you probably don't want to do that. Do you have any friends you can go to? Well, there's a couple of places we can go, but they're up north a ways. And I suggest you get on the phone and get in touch with them. Make sure there's somebody who can check his arm regularly. If that wound gets infected, he can still die. Okay. So, you say you know where my wife and baby are? Yeah. And because I got this thing on my forehead, I'm out. I'm never going there. Unfortunately, that's about it. I don't get it. I've been trying to help people all my life. Doesn't that count for anything? Doesn't God take that into account? It's not about doing good things. Yeah, that's what she said. Do me a favor, would you? If I can. What's your name? Judd. Assuming you make it to where my wife is, Judd. Yeah? Tell her I love her. I don't know what to say here. This guy needs your help. I don't know what to do. Just give me something. <laughs> hey, Judy. princess. It's Marty. You looking for a friend, too? Yeah. Listen, I'm taking a couple personal days. I really need to get away for a while, clear my head. No, I'm not taking my beeper with me. Right. Come on, princess. Right. Let's go check on Lionel. <laughs> Doc! Doc! Oh, man! Oh, Doc! Oh, what a waste! Oh, you didn't have to do this! God? I could really use your help right now. Not sure what's gonna happen here with Lionel, with our trip up north, with anything. Judd. Who's that? Your prayers have been heard. Where are you? I'm here, Judd. You. You're the guy at Masada, the one. Calm yourself. You are safe. Safe? I don't know if you're up on current events, but my friend is upstairs missing an arm, and there's a dead guy in the bathroom. We are over a thousand miles from where we're going, and I don't know how we're going to get there. I've come to give you a message of assurance. Yeah? Well, I could use one. You must not give up hope. 
You will see your friends soon. What about Lionel? He will be fine. The journey the two of you began years ago, you will finish together. So what should I do now? Pray. Well, that I can do. Pray now. Pray for peace. Pray for wisdom. Pray for guidance. Pray for your enemies. Pray for your friends. Vicky, we're leaving. So what's the plan? We're taking the doctor's car. It's packed with enough painkillers to last the whole trip. Well, won't someone eventually find the body? What's the difference? They're looking for us anyhow. Well, everyone is looking forward to seeing you. Hopefully we'll be there soon. Hit every hole in the road, will you? Maybe you ought to drive, smart guy. So where are you guys today? Decatur. We're getting closer. Well, at least you're in Illinois again. Our top story tonight. The rivers of the world have mysteriously turned to blood. Remarkably similar to the phenomena that struck the world's ocean several months ago. Scientists have been looking at... Hey, I want to ask you something. Yeah? You know what's going on with me and Vicky. Yeah. You ain't seen each other for over two years, but you spend every minute you can on the phone talking to her. Sure, I know all about it. Forget it. Come on, man. What's on your mind? All right. Do you think it'd be right for me to court Vicky? I mean, at the same time, I need to be doing God's work? Dude, if I could slap you now, I would. Intensify their attacks on splinter groups in the United Carpathian States Central Region. Commander Kruno Fulsiri promises that these rebel troops will be neutralized in the next few weeks. Enter. Commander Fulsiri, there's been a development. Close the door. Tell me. As you know, we've been using AWACS planes and telejack communication to monitor cell phone activity. Did you find Vicky B? We've been monitoring a series of calls originating in the central northern... Did state. you find Vicky B? Com has run several of those calls through the wash. There's a 97% likelihood that she is either making or receiving those calls. Where? We believe we narrowed the field considerably. Keep talking. These calls have been made to a cell phone somewhere in this triangle. Are you serious? That's most of Wisconsin, Illinois, and eastern Minnesota. Yes, sir. You call that narrowing the field? We know what to listen for now. We know the area that the calls are confined to. If we triangulate within this area, we could have her in less than a week. If she keeps making calls from that phone. If she doesn't decide to leave the area. That's correct. Fine. Get started. But what you just told me, this entire conversation does not leave this room. I don't want this red-headed nuisance getting a heads up from the evening news. Understood, sir. One week. Make it happen. Um, where's Galesburg? Northwest of Peoria. Oh, I can't believe this is taking so long. It's been months since you got back to the States. Yeah, driving at night is not as easy as it used to be either. I don't think the GC touched most of the roads since the wrath of the Lamb earthquake. How long do you think you'll be staying there? Hopefully not too long. A couple of days, I guess. Lionel needs to take it easy for a while. How's he doing? He's got his days. Well, tell him we're praying for him. Don't stop now. Vicky, you have to get off the phone now. Oh, hang on. You have to hang on? up. Mark just got an email from Cheng Wong. Your phone is being monitored by the GC. Commander Fuziri, we have him. Where? Show me. You just trace the call to this point. You're sure? Yes, sir. Absolutely. I want that building surrounded in the next 20 minutes. Go! Go, go! You think they were actually monitoring this phone? Chang said he saw a request from Falsiri's office to retask a satellite specifically to monitor cell phones in this area. But that may have nothing to do with us. Do you want to take that chance? I guess not. So what are we going to do? Marshall and Colin think we should sit tight but keep our eyes open. Something wrong? I think I screwed up. What do you mean? I was talking to Vicky. So it must be Wednesday. Yeah. Anyway, I was talking to Vicky. What did you say? Nothing. Darren came in and told her that the GC had been monitoring our calls. Well, how'd they find that out? Cheng emailed him. 
I guess he got some inside information. You think they're bearing down on Avery? Yeah, because I wanted to talk to her. You couldn't have known that. Yeah, I should have known better. Man, if anything happens to her because of this... No, we can second-guess ourselves until the glory's appearing. Every decision we make could be wrong. Every place we go to, we could get caught by some GC patrol. That's a little more pessimistic than I'm used to from you. I haven't made my point yet. Sorry. The last few weeks, I've had to deal with getting by without my left arm. And I'm not exactly digging it. I know. I've been reading a lot about grace lately. You remember what grace is? It's when God gives us what we don't deserve. Uh Uh-huh. See, I see it here all day looking at this empty sleeve. You know, sometimes I still think I'm wiggling my fingers. I should have been dead. That rock was big as a truck. Yeah. We survived some pretty wack stuff in Israel. It wasn't like we deserved it. We should have been caught about five more times since we got back to the States. Yeah, and I didn't tell you about this before, but after you, you know... Yeah, yeah. That guy in Nice, he paid me a visit. Serious? Yeah. He told me you were going to be okay. The journey we started years ago, we'd finish together. Something like that. Which journey? To Israel or as Christians? He didn't say. I, I thought he meant to Israel. He said we'd both be with our friends soon. At the glorious appearing or before? Uh, I don't know how to take that stuff. I mean, maybe he was just saying it to try and give you some comfort when you needed it. We still don't know what he meant. I don't think he would try to confuse me. I think he meant it. Then I'm sure Vicky is going to be fine. And why are you talking like this? You want me to just give you the answer to everything? Oh, you are so dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? That? You're still too slow. <laughs> Get for the back door! The place is surrounded! What? The GC? How did they find us? You don't think... And you all worried about Vic? Great. I worry about one group of people and end up burning another. And I was hoping I'd never hear that again. You have 30 seconds before we start firing. You too. Go around back. I'm sure no one gets out that way. I'm like out. Fire the tear gas. Orders are to take them alive. We'll let the blade do the rest. Understood? All right, get in position. You boys keep an eye on the windows. Alive means breathing, not walking. You've got five seconds. We're coming. We're coming out. Don't shoot. Get down. Get down on the ground. It's cool. You got us. Shut up, dude. Height scum. What's that sound? Shut up. You feel like it's getting warmer. It's getting hotter. What's going on, Sarge? Ah! You feel that, Private? Not that much hotter. Ah! Lionel, this is one of the judgments, but it's not affecting us. Escape! Escape! Ah! Everybody run! Now! Go! 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 Lionel, get to the car! Now! Way ahead of you, bro. That's all we know right now, Cheryl. We may have to get out of here quickly. Where are we going to go? I don't know. Marshall and Colin probably have some ideas. And the Fogarty's? Where are they going to take Ryan? I don't know. I can't be away from Ryan. Cheryl, the Fogarty's are raising Ryan now. You, You agreed to that. I never wanted to. But you agreed that would be best for him. I can't let them take him away from me. He's mine. He's my son! Cheryl, you don't want to be acting like this right now. You don't care. My boy is growing up and I don't even get to help. I don't have time for this. He's mine! Do you hear me? He's mine! Do you really think she's going to do something crazy? Well, I thought it was just postpartum depression before, but after today... I don't know. First we have to watch out for GC hit squads dropping in for dinner. Now we have to make sure one of our own doesn't do something stupid. Hey, Darian, Vicky. Are, are we leaving? No, 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 nothing like that. You gotta hear oh. this, though. What happened? No, this is awesome. What? I just got another email from Chang. There's a global heat wave going on. <laughs> what are you talking what? about? It's not that warm here. Uh, Chang says that people are bursting into flames in some parts of the world, oh. and Christians aren't affected. What? Oh, it's one of the judgments. The Bible talks about the sun burning hotter. <laughs> you mean we can go outside in the sun and it doesn't bother us, but the GC can't? That's what it sounds like. This could be a great opportunity for us. 
What do you mean? Well, if they can't come out in the sun, we can travel without being caught. We can? Uh, Christians can. <laughs> if anybody's still mm -hmm. in hiding, this is an opportunity for them to move. Ooh, like Judd? And Lionel. <laughs> sure, good save. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go send them an email. Let them know what we found out. Tell them I said hi. <laughs> For her sake, I hope Judd gets here soon. Reports are coming in from all over the planet about incidents of spontaneous combustion. The phenomenon began, strangely enough, at an outdoor four horsemen concert in Amsterdam. Oh, it, was, it was unbelievable, man. We're in the midst of our set, and all of a sudden, boom, it explodes. Next thing I knew, my guitar started melting. Oh, I ran as fast as I could to get to the dressing room. Scientists at Global Communities Kyoto University are seeking reasons for the sudden weather change, but at present are at loss for an explanation. Scientists in Babylon, on the other hand, report that the weather is a result of the planet Venus exploding. You hear that, Lionel? Venus exploded. Bummer. That was my plans to visit. That's a shame. It's really nice in the fall. Hey, didn't something like that happen in a Star Trek movie? Probably. I think that's why it sounds so bogus. I don't care how this heat wave happened. I'm just glad it did. I wonder what happens at night. I'm not sure if we should lay low. You mean only travel when they can't come out? Yeah, the Bible talks about the sun burning people. No sun, no heat wave, right? I guess we'll find out tonight. Either way, we should make decent time now. If we ever make it out of this town. I'm sticking to my theory that the GC just ain't interested in good roads. I've yet to see one that's been repaired since the earthquake. Not too many people outside anymore. All the new concerns about too much exposure in the sun without proper SPF protection. No, look at oh, Hold on! Oh. Help me! Oh. Help me! Oh. 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 Don't he explode! Oh, I'm getting out of here! Oh. They're all over! Oh. Oh, we can't do anything for them either! Oh, watch out! Oh. Oh. Hold on! I'm getting us out of here! Oh, oh man! This is crazier than anything we saw in Israel. Oh, these people are crazy. What are they doing outside? I think I lost my appetite. Let's get moving. I hear that. Drive on, James. Can I ask you something, Darian? As long as it doesn't have anything to do with you and Judd. Mm, forget it, then. Just kidding. <laughs> What's up? Do you ever think about getting married? Is this about me and Mark? No. Yes. I, I don't know. Sure. Um, <laughs> do you ever think about marrying him? Uh, sometimes. Then he says something that makes me want to strangle him, and then <laughs> not so much. Oh, I keep thinking about what's going to happen when Judd gets here. I mean, I haven't seen him in almost three years. <laughs> what if he's fat and bald? <laughs> he is still Judd, okay? Oh, how sweet. Must be love. <laughs> I guess what I'm wondering is if it's worth it getting into a serious relationship with so little time left on this planet. What do you mean? We have over a thousand and one years left. I wouldn't call that a little time. But everything is going to be different after Jesus comes back. Will our relationship change? You're asking me. <laughs> You've been studying this longer than me. I was wondering about kids, too. Well, what about them? Like whether married couples are going to have kids, stuff like that. Oh, not satisfied babysitting Ryan. <laughs> All the work, none of the connection, mm -hmm. you know. Could you see Mark and me getting married and having kids? <laughs> no. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Vicky, Derek, come with me. Oh, uh, now what's wrong? Marshall's car is gone. What? His car? What happened? That's what we have to find out. Oh, don't tell me. Tell you what? The car's not the only thing missing? Cheryl's gone. And the baby, too. Uh. And to upload your article to the website, just drag it over the block and click the mouse. Done. <laughs> that looks easy. Oh, it is easy. I mean, writing the article is the hard part. <laughs> Who'd have thought three years ago that I'd be writing articles for a Christian page? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Three years ago, you were the person I was most likely to punch. Three years ago, <laughs> the feeling was mutual. <laughs> okay. Well, I've decided I don't want to punch you anymore. It wouldn't be very gentlemanly of me. You know, three years ago, I wouldn't have thought you'd be too worried about being gentlemanly. <laughs> well, I guess we've both changed. I bet if I asked you real nice, you'd even admit that since then, you've learned to like me. Like you, like you? Yeah. Like me, like me. Yeah. I suppose. 
Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> really? You do? <laughs> you sound surprised. <laughs> I guess I am. Can you handle another surprise? Uh, I'm not sure. I bet you can. Okay. Conrad, Janie, we need your help. <laughs> oh, Amy. Right now? Cheryl's missing, and she took Ryan. Are you serious? Yeah, come on. Oh, sorry for interrupting. Oh, no, we were done <laughs> working on our article. Hey, Conrad, uh, anyone ever tell you that you're <laughs> cute when you're flustered? <laughs> what? What? Episode 65, Reunions. Marshall, give me a hand with this bed. She sure didn't leave much for us to find. She didn't leave anything. My guess is she'd been planning this for a long time. Uh, and I thought she'd gotten herself under control. I never expected her to just grab Ryan and make a run for it. How's Josie doing? How do you think? Mm, I suppose. Hey, Marshall, Tom, I found something. What is it? Cheryl had been sending a lot of emails lately. When she was done sending them, she'd delete them from her outbox, but she didn't delete them from her history log. Who has she been emailing? Your friend, Wanda. Wanda? She wrote her saying that Ryan was sick and she didn't know what to do. Ryan hasn't been sick. Wanda would have smelled a rat. She knows Tom and Josie are raising Ryan. Cheryl signed all her emails, yours in Christ, Josie. Oh, you were right, Tom. She'd been planning this for a long time. Cheryl's last letter, as Josie, said she was... Sending Ryan with Cheryl to see her. So Cheryl's taking Ryan to Wanda's? Gotta hand it to her. It was a good plan. I'll keep that in mind when I'm trying not to strangle her. Take it easy, Tom. We'll get this straightened out. Well, at least we know where she's headed. Let's get going. How much longer do you think it's gonna be? I don't know. We should be getting closer. I like traveling during the day. Yeah. As long as I don't see anyone else start on fire, I'll be fine. I think most people figured out to stay indoors by now. You still remember the directions Vicky sent you? Are you kidding? They're, uh, etched in my brain. I wish you would have printed it up. If something happens to you, I don't know where I'm going. Hey, if I had printed them up and something happened to me, everyone would know where we're going. I suppose. Hey, you see that? What? That van coming towards us. Dude's swerving all over the road. If it's not a Christian, he's probably on fire. Hey, hey, they're getting closer. Pull over. It was a girl. She wasn't on fire. I wonder where she was off to so fast. Strange things happen this far north. We'll have to check out the news once we hit the camp. Maybe they know something about it. All right, Wanda. Uh, call us if she gets there. How could she not be there yet? It's not that far. The only other car we saw was that black SUV. She may be lost, or in town here, or who knows where. And if she's in town, she might get caught. You don't think she'd be foolish enough to go into a building, do you? What evidence do you have that she's firing on all cylinders, huh? She just kidnapped my son. Tom, in the parking garage, over to your right. That's my van. Good eyes. Why would she go and park in the shade? Like you said, I don't think she's firing on all cylinders. So what's the plan? Marshall, park someplace in the sun. Okay, and then? We're gonna go find Ryan. <sighs> Ryan and Cheryl? When you say we, you mean... Marshall and I. You two wait here. Mark, keep your eyes peeled. We may need to get out of here quick. We, we should be back soon. <sighs> Great. Once again, we get to sit and wait while the grown-ups do all the interesting stuff. like a ghost town. Mm. Except it's not deserted. Hiding inside, there's a whole lot of people who can't come out in the sun. I, I still don't get what she's doing in this garage. She may have been dumping the van. Why would she do that? You don't think she had another car ready, do you? You see anything? Nope. Let's check the van right behind you. Just a couple other cars. The van is closed up tight. Maybe they're in the back. I'm gonna open it up. They're gone. Now what? Ah! Ah! Come on, Vic. It's been like a half an hour. You think we should go find out what's going on? Yep. What do you think they are? Let's we'll start with the parking garage. Be careful. If they're not back, it's because something happened to them. Yeah. I've been thinking the same thing. Maybe we should take a different approach. You have a better idea? No, I mean, 
Maybe we should go in the garage on the other side. Oh, yeah, good idea. You don't need to keep me taped up. We're not going anywhere. Pipe down. What are you going to do with us? I'm going to make a few thousand nicks. That's what I'm going to do. You're a bounty hunter? That's where the money is now. Make more doing this than I ever did as a teacher. What about these two? Don't act like you don't know who they are. They came looking for you. Oh. Anybody else going to be looking for you? Anybody I need to know about? I don't know. I didn't know they were coming. Before the sun goes down, you're going to tell me what I want to know. After that, I'll trade you and these others in for lunch money. Huh? What was that? It came from over there. <clears throat> Mark! Yeah, but I'm coming from right here. And when you get your wind back, you don't want to follow us. It'll get awfully warm. How did you find me? Yeah, that wasn't too tough. It's okay, Ryan. It's gonna be okay. Let's get Tom and Marshall to Wanda's place. You might need some help. Wanda's? Yeah, we know all about your plan. Now, unless you want this guy to capture you again, I suggest we get to someplace a little brighter. Just hold this on your head. It should help the swelling. Ah, it's cold. Cold ice pack. Imagine that. How's your head, Marshall? Let's just say I know how a golf ball feels. Vicky, can I hold Ryan for a while? No. I guess that's your answer. <laughs> He's my son. Cheryl, we've been over this before. You agreed to let Josie and I raise him. And you lied to me. You said Ryan was sick. And you misused Josie's name. It's pretty clear what you were trying to do. I just wanted to be with him. No, Cheryl. You wanted to own him. There's a difference. If you would have asked, Josie and I would have let you spend time with him, same as everybody else. But I'm not everybody else. I'm his mother. Cheryl, you said you wanted to stay with me for a while. I think that's probably a good idea. Me too. I agree. You're kicking me out of the camp? I think a little time away from Ryan is what you need right now. And when you get your head straight, you can come back. But I... Come on, I... Cheryl. Let me run you a bath. Huh? Oh, okay. Come on. Listen, Wanda, uh, we're gonna get back to the camp, okay? Good idea. I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Yeah. See ya. Come on, Cheryl. I'd say that girl needs some serious prayer. So admit it, you don't know where we are. Globally? We're in northwestern Wisconsin, very close to the town of Avery. Yeah, but you don't remember how to get to the camp. All right. We may have missed a turn, but we're close. I know that. Find a landmark. Something Vicky told you about. Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. This row of pine trees along the road. Yeah? Yeah, the direction said that the entrance to the camp is about half a mile after that on the left. It looks like a, a little turnaroundy thing. Turn around -y thing? Yeah, like it used to be a driveway, but now there's a cable across it. Oh, oh yeah, I think I see it. But that's not half a mile. No, I'm sure that's it. You ever meet a woman who had a sense of distance? Dog, you do not want to be coming in with an attitude like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, well don't just kid yourself into the doghouse your first day back. So you guys left while she was taking a bath? Well, Marshall and Tom thought it'd be easiest for Cheryl. Get that corner over there, will you? Yeah. I bet she was pretty upset when she found out you guys were gone. Well, Cheryl's gonna be upset for a long time. There's nothing we can... Vic, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I just want to finish these pillows. <laughs> you think that's Jed and Lionel? I need to get their beds ready. <laughs> I'll go see who it is. You finish with the pillowcases. <clears throat> Lord, help me get through this. I don't know what's going to happen, but as long as you're in control. Uh, yeah. Come on in. What's the matter? You didn't want to come and say hi? <laughs> We've been seeing each other for two and a half years, and that's the first line you come up with? You want me to go out and try again? Come here. <laughs> Oh, you've grown about a foot taller, and you need a shave. Yeah, oh. I started doing that while I was gone. That's not the only change. Yeah, I know. Are you okay? I mean, you know, your arm. I hate not having it, but at least I'm alive. Mostly thanks to that guy outside. 
how is that guy outside? <laughs> Go see for yourself. We're staying at their house for a while. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Nice to finally meet you, too. I've heard quite a bit about you. Yeah? Not sure why I thought you'd be ten feet tall, but... <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen Tanya or Ty? Uh, they were fishing with Charlie. Charlie's here, too? Vicky didn't tell me that. Oh, yeah. Charlie, Janie, Melinda. Yeah, pretty oh. much everyone you've ever met since becoming a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> well, not quite everyone. Yeah. So you heard about Pete? Yeah. That's okay. It's temporary. <laughs> Hey, I can't believe you guys are still holding this mud around. That mud saved our skins a couple of times. Tom and Josie say they'll see you tonight. Tom Fogarty? Wow. Why, what's tonight? A welcome back party. Everyone should be there. Vicky even said she was going to make a cake. I didn't realize things were that desperate here. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> well, look who it is. Vicky, this is Judd. Judd, this is Vicky. You know, the boy you told me about. Hey. No, oh, three years to catch up, and we're off to a blazing start with. Hey, <laughs> leave him alone, you big dope. It's romantic. Oh, oh, right. That's what that is. Yeah. Romantic. Okay. You can take a few lessons from that. <laughs> is this awkward for you too? Awkward? No. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very. <laughs> Welcome home. Thanks. I missed you. I missed you too. I uh. Something wrong? No. No, not anymore. Right. <laughs> hey, I just want to say thanks to all of you for this crazy little clam bake. <laughs> <laughs> Josie, thanks for the great cake. Not that I wouldn't have eaten it if Vicky made it. Oh, that's not what I heard. <laughs> uh, and uh, I think I'm speaking for Lionel, too, when I say I'm really glad to be here. The last, uh, what, almost three years have been pretty crazy for us. We've seen some weird stuff, had to do some things we never would have thought we could do before. And some things we hope we never have to do again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just I'm glad to be among friends again and relatively safe. <laughs> here, You're here. here. Yeah. And I just want to say thanks to Lionel, who got me through the last few years. Gave me a good swift kick a few times, now too. only when he needed it. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I think I speak for all of us, especially Vicky, when I say it's good to have you guys back. Hey! <laughs> well, it's true. She's smiling again. It's nice to see. <laughs> it's nice to do. All right, all right. Come on. Back. Vicky, you want to go for a little walk? Whoa, hold it. What? What's going on? Well, as you know, we've been taking care of our little Vicky for quite a while here. Yeah? <laughs> as would be expected with such a sweet young lady, we've become, well... <laughs> Attached to her. We don't want anything to happen to her. Okay. As her surrogate father. As her surrogate father. <laughs> I have to ask, what are your intentions? Nice invitation. Sounds just like my yeah. dad. <laughs> Sir? Yes? I mean, yes. I'm here to renew an old friendship, if that's okay with you. <laughs> Daughter, are you open to this young man renewing your acquaintance? Sure. Yeah, why not? I've, I've finished all my baking, so I've got some time on my hands. <laughs> all right. Just have her back before it gets dark and... No necking. Darian. Uh, Darian Staley, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That is nice. the kind of entertainment people travel yeah. thousands of miles to enjoy. She'll be here all week. <laughs> Take much. a bow, Darian. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Hey, I bye. was just leaving. Yes, <laughs> you were. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Hey, it's not your fault your dad is weird. <laughs> hey, you've never met my dad. Be nice. Yeah, but, but I will, right? Yeah. In fact... There's a lot of people we'll meet, and a lot of new stuff coming to this crazy world. And we'll get to see it together. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking. Ah, nice night, huh? Yeah, usually when I've been walking at night, it's because we were hiding from someone. <laughs> I know. This is nice. <clears throat> Judd, hmm? tell me about Nada. I was wondering when you were going to ask about her. I mean, you told me the story, and you told me what happened to her, but what you didn't tell me is... Did you love her? I don't know. I mean, I'd be lying to say I wasn't interested in her. She was a pretty insightful person. 
What, what do you mean? Before she died, she wrote me a note saying that she knew I was more interested in someone else. Really? She, she told you that? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, so... So? <laughs> so where does all of this leave us? <laughs> right here. Together. I mean, like, I have no idea what's going to happen in the next year and a half. All I do know is that I want to be with you. Really? Yeah. I mean, I mean as long as you... Of course I do. I, <laughs> I guess I'm only wondering what kind of relationship we're going to have. Well, it'd be crazy to just jump into a serious romantic relationship right away. I mean, we haven't spent a whole day together in almost three years. Yeah, but... We've known each other for over five years. Oh, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm all in favor of changing our relationship. I just... Uh, <laughs> I just want to do everything right. So you're still in care with me. In care. <laughs> yes, in care and a half. Ooh, okay. I like that. <laughs> I know some of you, some of us, are perfectly happy sitting out the rest of the time until Jesus comes back and playing it safe. I, I got no problem with that. All I can say is this heat wave is a great opportunity for us. We can move around easier than we ever have before. Trouble is, we don't know how long it's going to last. Even more reason to get on the stick. There's plenty of work we can be doing with the co-op. Moving people and supplies around. I guess I don't want to just sit here and not help out. Me neither. Lionel might need some downtime, but I'm ready to go. Good. Then it's decided. If some want to help out the co-op and trip force, we will. If you want to just relax and wait out the tribulation in safety, you can do that too. Like Mark said, we don't know how long this weather's going to last. I say it's time we take the fight to them. Bruce Barnes is watching us. He's just talking about all the Christians that have come before us. He's just continuing the racing metaphor? Yeah, very good. When Jesus comes back, are we going to find out who wrote the book of Hebrews? <laughs> well, I hope so. It may not be important to us anymore. We'll be with Jesus then. All right, that's all for today. We'll look at the rest of chapter 12 tomorrow. And Janie, you bring the cookies. Sure. <laughs> oh, happy. <laughs> Nice job. Oh, I told you, I don't like it when you sit in on my glasses. Oh. It makes me nervous. Why be nervous? You studied this stuff a lot more than I have. Oh, it just does. Can I tell you something? What? I've been watching you now for, what, six months? You're doing a great job. I mean, Charlie's asking good questions about the book of Hebrews. What does that tell you? Well, he doesn't get it. I think he gets it real <laughs> good. He has a good teacher. Yeah, Marshall. Uh, Marshall, that reminds me. I almost forgot where I came to see you. Oh, uh, I thought you came just to see me. Uh, well, that too. <laughs> Let me guess, you're going on another co-op run. Uh, not exactly. Marshall wants me to go to Ohio to help some believers there. I guess they're trapped in a library or something? You're... you're going to Ohio? Look, I told Marshall that I'd go, but only on one condition. Um, what's that? That you come with me. Seriously? Seriously. You mean I finally get to go somewhere? So oh, you must be the infamous Vicky B. Vicky, this is Weston Jakes. Nice to meet you, Weston. Call me Wes. All right. Strap yourselves in. Next stop, Springfield, Ohio. This little bus is perfect. Yep. It should hold all the believers we need to pick up. And yeah, we used to call these the special buses. <laughs> and it still is special. It's God's bus. Well, I hope it can outrun the GC's Humvees. I'm counting on it still being too hot for the GC goon squads to come outside. We should be gone long before dark. As well, long as everything goes according to plan. Are you sure this is the right library? Well, it's the only one still standing. Now, where are our friends? There's a lady watching us over there. Are you here to meet us? Uh, I don't know. Uh, why don't you come out here in the sunlight? Oh, good idea. That answers that question. Uh, Ma'am, you need to get your friends and get on that bus. We're going to take you someplace safe. 
Praise the Lord. You've come to save us. I thought you were all inside the library. We were, until a bunch of GC cops took it over. The GC took over the library? About two days ago. We've been sleeping rough ever since. Last night we stayed in a garage. Can you imagine 27 of us in a garage? Well, right now I want to imagine 27 of you in that bus. We gotta move. <laughs> Everybody all set? Actually, Vicky, you ready? Something's not right. What are you talking about? Audrey, if you moved out and the GC moved in, how come the building is still standing? Yeah, I thought all the buildings with the GC troops and stuff were starting on fire. My boy Howard, he's hiding inside somewhere. Well, we gotta get him out. Vicky and I'll go. Uh, Judd, it's getting too late for this. Now, the sun's going down in a couple of hours and we need to leave the airfield before it does. We can do it. Yeah, all we need is a car. My car is still in my carport. It's not far from here. Here are the keys. Anything I need to know? Well, yeah, actually. The Volkswagen Beetles were made with what was called a standard automatic transmission back in those days. Standard automatic? You shift it like a stick shift, but there was no clutch pedal. The clutch engages when you put pressure on the shifting lever. This ought to be an adventure. I still say this is crazy. We'll be fine, Wes. Yeah, just wait for us at the airfield. If we're not there in half an hour... I'll give you an hour, but don't waste any time. If we're not there in an hour, take off. All right. Don't worry, we'll see you in a bit. Thank you so much. We'll be fine, and we'll have Howard there before you know it. plan is, we now make up the plan. Oh, great. I'm guessing the GC are staying downstairs during the day, out of the sunlight. Then Howard's probably in one of the upper floors, right? right. All right, you take this floor, I'll go up to the next. Oh. oh, did you see that? Someone's in that room. Dollars to donuts, that's our boy. Okay, I'll try the polite method. <laughs> Howard, we're here to get you out. We're believers, just like you. We drove your mom's car. Just look out the window. It's parked in the street. Nice. You think I'll believe us? <laughs> we'll find out. You came in that thing? Yeah. <laughs> You're braver than I thought. Nice. Come on. <laughs> Just a few more. <laughs> you were saying? Great. Now we're cut off from the exit. What do we do now? Pray a lot. You can't leave yet. My boy's not here. Sorry, Audrey. They're already 15 minutes past the time they were supposed to be here. If we wait any longer, we're all in danger of getting caught. But your friends... Don't strap yourselves in. We are out of here. Oh, that was close. Can you see where he is? In the shadows by the door. Yeah, and he's not coming out into the sunlight anytime soon. We gotta get to the car quick or Weston's gonna take off without us. No, if he's stuck to the plane, he's already gone. Howard, is there another way out of this library? Not that I can. What about the windows? How far a drop is it? Oh, too far. 20 feet, maybe. Where are you going? I'm gonna go do something about this guy shooting at us. Come back here. Shh. Get out of this town, raise my chickens. All right, he's reloading. This is my chance. Hold it! Huh? You hold it! Wait a minute, you didn't even have time to get all the bullets loaded. You wanna take a chance? Take it easy, man, all right? We just wanna leave. Yeah, well, me too! But I can't because of this heat wave. What heat wave? Uh, 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 empty. Yeah. Uh, all right. I tell you what, we're going to leave this gun sitting just outside for you, okay? Vic, let's move. Once we're gone, you can go out and get it, all right? John. Nice job. Let's get out of here. Just go. Get out. Take the stupid gun. Come on, John. I don't know what to tell you, man. Get out. Let's go. Uh, uh. Ah! That was like spontaneous combustion. The last believer has left the building. Episode 66, Running Scared. Ah, oh, yep, we missed him. Weston did just what we told him to do. They left without us? Well, we were on a pretty tight schedule. I guess we didn't make it back in time. So, what now? Good question. Weston knows we're here. He'll come back as soon as he can. I suppose we just lay low until he does? Unless you have a better plan. Give me five minutes, I might. Well, let's just find some place to hide out for the night. When the sun goes down, things around here come alive, if you know what I mean. You mean this airport isn't abandoned? <laughs> this isn't just an airport. This is Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. <laughs> Let me guess. There's still security personnel here. It's a safe bet. Great. Mm. You come up with a better plan yet? Uh, how about hiding out in that parking garage? 
Well, let's check it out. Hop in. Okay, I'm missing something here. Why is this parking deck such a great place to hide? We'll be able to see if anybody's coming. Yeah, and if anybody does come, we can climb down the outside to the next floor. Whoa, is this a bad time to tell you I'm afraid of heights? <laughs> no worse than any other time. <laughs> right. The sun's going down. It's going to cool off in here soon. Yeah, I suppose building a fire wouldn't be the best idea. I bet the library's still warm. Oh, Howard, you have anything to eat in that backpack of yours? Huh. Well, since you asked so nicely. Oh, oh sandwiches? Yeah. Were you holding out on your mom and company? Nah, they had plenty of food. At least until the GC walked in and took over the library. Huh. This is my own little stash. I took them when I split from the rest of the crowd. Mm. They seem to be just a bit past their freshness date. Oh, that's just the lettuce. Take it off, they'll be fine. You won't hear me complain. It's all we have. Well, not exactly. Whoa, candy bars? Oh, hello, chocolate. Oh, this is dessert. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Mm, this is not mm -hmm. so bad. What is it? Cheese and butter. Yummy. I don't suppose you have a blanket in that backpack of yours, huh? For right now. We're over here, Vic. We'll keep each other warm. Mm -hmm. So, what's the deal with you two? What do you mean? You married? Dating what? Uh, we haven't quite figured that out yet. Yeah. Figured what out? Well, in the global scheme of things, there's not a whole lot of time until Jesus returns. So? We're just not sure whether starting a relationship right now is the best idea. Starting a relationship? How long have you two known each other? We met the day of the rapture. The next day. Right. Next day. Yeah, so how long have you liked each other? Um, uh, come on! Oh, well, friends, right? Yeah. You eat my sandwiches, you tell me your life story. <laughs> come on, how long? Uh... Most of that time. Six years? Uh, what about you? Yeah, yeah, I'd say most of that time too. <laughs> so, starting a relationship is a six year process. Yeah, but we got work to do before Jesus comes back. So, do it together. That's a possibility, but no, what do we nothing do? in the Bible that I've seen says you can't be married. In fact, it says you should be married. Well, <laughs> Peter was married and Jesus built a church on it. Yeah, so your point is... Uh, look, I've only known you for a few hours, but I mean, you already act like you're married. We, we do, do not. not. <laughs> Rest my case. Look, you got a sheen for each other. Why don't you two just get married? Sheen? You know, Howard, that's not such a bad idea. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Uh, what do you say, Vic? What, what, what do I say about what? Will you marry me? Uh... Whoa, bad time. Hold that thought. We got company. So you saw it drive in here. Plain as day? I wasn't far away. It was a blue Volkswagen Beetle. The older kind, it drove right into this garage. Uh, this was before the sun set. Yeah, I was still hiding that building over there. I saw the whole thing. All right, all right. Teams one and two cover the south end. Three and four on the north. You and I will drive the truck up the ramp. Move out. All right, there's a drainage pipe running down the wall here. I think we can climb down it. Did I mention my fear of heights? Have I mentioned I'm allergic to bullets? Good point. All right, they won't be able to see us from the inside. Jed? Let's do it. I'll go first. Works for me. All right, all right. Slow down a bit, Dewey. First floor is secure. Proceeding to second floor. Second floor secure. Proceed to third floor. Car on three, repeat. Car on three, blue Volkswagen. Both teams secure the exits. I'm going in for a look. Alright. Cars empty. Hmm. Nobody on the floor. Wax paper and candy wrappers. No targets. Hey, get off me! They're on the ground level! Keep going! Go in as far as you can! Howard, stay! Yeah, but I doubt they're gonna find us in here. Nobody's gonna call them something like this. Yeah, we did. Oh, we had to. Yeah. Uh, Alright. This should be good. It sounds like they're splitting. Yeah, circle <clears throat> is a better bet. So, um, Judd. Yeah. Where were we?
This is where they were supposed to meet you yesterday? Yep. Uh, let's hope they didn't get caught when the sun went down. Doubt it. Judge seems to have this way to just barely avoid trouble. And judge in love makes you do stupid things. I guess. Looks like you didn't avoid trouble this time, huh? Oh, we got three runners, south end of the field. Uh, I don't know who the tail is, but I do recognize Judd and Vicky. I'll go get the cabin door for him. I'll taxi closer. All right. Come on, guys, come on! Shut the door! We'll get moving! Nice job on the coming back to get us, thanks! Whoa, you guys got a special fragrance going. You overnight with the three little pigs? Oh, good to see you too, Mark. <laughs> Everybody hold on! We're holding Wes. Punch this cow! <laughs> oh, by the way, look at our, we're getting married. <laughs> Dear Diary, remember those wedding invitations you used to see? Today I'm marrying my best friend. I always thought that sounded so dumb. But now that Judd and I have been making wedding plans, I'm beginning to understand. Marshall's been counseling us for the past few weeks, giving us some ideas about what to look forward to. Before I got married, the pastor suggested to us that we remember to make out a will, just in case. You probably don't need to do that. Melinda and Janie have been getting in touch with their feminine side and have been making me a dress. <sighs> Who would believe it? These two considered me public enemy number one only a few years ago. Oh, Conrad had a great suggestion for the wedding. You should have Sion Ben Judah marry you. Sion Ben Judah. How are we going to do that? He's at Petra. We're in Wisconsin. I know, but you can do it. On the internet or fiber optic or satellite, something. That's not a bad idea. Lionel and Judd are busy helping out with the co-op. It's really cool how close those two are now. Why can't you just admit that I'm right? I'm not talking to you right now. Oh, that's mature. It's either spring or there must be something in the water. Everyone seems to be in love. How was I supposed to know you like flowers? <laughs> what girl doesn't like flowers? Here, here's a daisy. <laughs> that's a weed! Conrad and Janie are... <laughs> I don't know what's up with them. <laughs> Look at Mark and Darian. All they seem to do is fight. <laughs> I don't want a bouquet of weeds. I can't believe you're getting mad about this. Oh, I hope we never get like that. <laughs> I can guarantee you we won't. I don't know what that means. And now, one week before the wedding, Weston's taking Judd away again. He says it's his last trip. Trip as a bachelor. I don't know. We already got this whole thing set up with Sion Ben Judah. Well, that's the good part of my plan. Uh, there's a good part. You help me take the supplies to New Babylon, and then I drop you off at... Ta-da! Petra! And why is that so cool? Vicky will still be here. Not for long. I come back through here, pick your blush and bride up, deliver her to you, Ben Judah marries the two of you, and you live happily ever after. Uh, you would do that? Sure. What do you think, Vic? Well, I like the happily ever after part. That always sounds good. <laughs> but something always goes wrong. What could go wrong? As long as the heat wave holds up, we can go anywhere. Hey, you wanted to see me? Yeah, you got an email from Sion Ben Judah. Oh, cool. Let me see it. He says he remembers me, but not very well. He remembers his daughter Nina talking about me. He must have left some kind of impression. Hey, guys, what's going on? Hold on a second. He just got a letter from Dr. Ben Judah. Cool. Rock! He says he'll marry us. Hold on, cowboy. <laughs> I like you and all, but... No, 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 he'll marry me and Vicky. Oh, good. Well, that's really... <laughs> that is cool. Hey, uh, listen, as long as you're both here... I know Vicky's a little weirded out about me going on this trip tomorrow. Can you blame her? You're supposed to get married in a week. Last time you went to the Middle East, you were gone over two years. Yeah, I just want you guys to look out for her while I'm gone. Hang on. You're worried about her? You're the one going to Nikolai Carpathia's backyard barbecue. I'd say you need a babysitter more than she does. Are you sure this is a good idea? I'm just going to help Weston deliver some supplies. It's not like I'm going to a bachelor party. <laughs> I just don't want anything to happen to you. Hey, nothing is going to happen to me, I promise. Oh, how you can even say that after what you've been through? You know, if you're going to marry me in a few days, you really need to learn to trust me. <laughs> I 
It's not like you can control circumstances, Bubba. I know that. So I don't want to be cut off from you again. So, Doc, okay? okay. <laughs> I better go. See you in a few days? Of course. Okay, I'll see you then. <sighs> I can't wait to see Petra. What about me? Yeah, you too, I suppose. <laughs> if I have to. All right, gotta go. Love you. Me too. What truck do you want me to put these boxes in, Mr. Kersman? Oh, the sir truck, if you please. I see you met my muscle here, Helmet. <laughs> it's always good to have a strong back to do your lifting. Well, I can't let this one get bruised. He's getting married next week. <laughs> Wunderbar. There's your Fraulein now. She's in Wisconsin. We're going to meet in Petra on Tuesday. Tuesday? You still have four days. Uh, guys, this day is going to end sooner than we want, so we need to get a move on. Ooh, get a move on? You sound like a cowboy. <laughs> you can both stay with us tonight. Uh, I really don't want to stay in New Babylon any longer than I have to. Yeah, his uh, Fraulein will kill me if anything happens to him. What could happen? I've been living in New Babylon for months. You're as safe with me as you would be at Petra. Uh, I suppose. Maybe I can give my friend Chang a call while I'm here. Chang Wang? He's one of my most trusted comrades. Of course you can call him. Now let's just finish up this job before it starts cooling off around here. Good morning, Chuck. Uh, take a plate. Breakfast is ready. Whoa, where did you get bacon? <laughs> From you, my friend. It was part of your delivery. Oh, nice. Now, uh, do you want eggs as well? Yeah, sure. And, uh, did you speak with Chang Wang last night? Uh, he didn't answer his phone. I hope nothing's wrong. I would have heard by now. Uh, try him again. Okay. Chang Wang. Chang, it's Judd. Judd, this is really a weird time. Yeah, you'll never guess where I am. I hope you're calling from Petra. Actually, I'm not. Why? The game is up. What do you mean? Are you in trouble? If what I'm looking at is correct, we're all in trouble. What are you talking about? I'm checking the global temperatures. It looks like everything's back to normal. Uh, you're saying that the heat wave is over? What? Where are you right now? In the worst possible place I could be. Vicky, wake up. I'm already awake. Something's wrong, isn't it? I can feel it. Phone's for you. For me? It's Judd, isn't it? Hang on. Hang on. She's coming. Here you go. Hello? Vic. Judd, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine right at the moment. I just wanted to call and let you know before you heard it on the radio or an internet news group. It's the heat wave, right? Yeah. Well, not anymore. It's over. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. You knew? Well, you know what I mean. What are you going to do now? I'm not sure yet. Our current host says we can stay with him as long as we need to. In New Babylon. Well, yeah. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you were trying to get out of marrying me. <laughs> if I was, this is not the way I'd do it, believe no, me. No, I know. I'm just... You're not mad at me. No. I'm more afraid I'm going to see you in some GC newscast. Judah Height ringleader finally captured. I'll be fine. All right, we've been through this before. <sighs> I suppose... And look at it this way. Last time I was gone, I was gone for three years. <laughs> we don't have that much time before Jesus comes back. Very reassuring. <laughs> That's my job, to reassure. <laughs> See, there you go again. You want to feel bad, but you have to go and cheer me up. Yeah, that's my other job. Yeah. Don't worry, Vic. We'll be okay. Weston and I are going to get to the airplane first chance we get and hop over to Petra. And Weston is still planning on picking me up? Definitely. <sighs> So, we've been in places like this before, little brother. We'll get out of this one, too. I know, but now I've got Vicky to think about, too. Trust me. We'll get to the plane and take off before... Um, I've got some more news for you. Now what? If it's bad news, I don't want to hear it. It is bad news, I'm afraid. Your airplane was discovered by the global community. Oh, boy. Did they do anything to it? Yes, you could say that. Well, well come on, Helmet. What did they do? Towed it to the edge of the airfield, packed the engines full of C4, and blew it up. Oh, and that plane was just starting to lack me. So much for hopping over to Petra. At least not any time soon.
It becomes necessary to show you the escape facilities in my home. Yeah, that could come in handy. Mm. I pray it will not come to it, but if the global community police arrive, you will have to enter this hidden room. Wow. Does everybody in New Babylon have a panic room? <laughs> if they don't, they should. I suppose. Uh, but this is not just a panic room. In fact, it's more of an escape tunnel. Serious? This room opens into a tunnel that leads into what we call number two. Number two, yes. It travels into the sewers and finally to the river Euphrates. Oh, the sewers. <laughs> just like in the film The Third Man. Uh, before my time. Uh. Mine too, but I still saw it. Anything else on this tour? And this is where we practice with firearms. What do you need guns for? What do we need guns for? Protection! Don't you think God will protect you? He has protected us, but we can't sit back and not defend ourselves. That would be foolishness. Yeah, I'm just not into killing, I guess. <laughs> I have no desire to kill anyone either, Judd, but the facts of the matter is that the global community is trying to kill us. I shall not go gently into that good night. Weston seemed to think you had an interesting story. You want to tell me? Uh, we may be neighbors for some time. <laughs> I'm all ears. When light and dark collide, and ignorance takes up the sword against understanding, what is left for weary men to do? What's that from? A play I was writing at the time of the disappearances. <laughs> it was not very good. It sounded fine to me. Do you know what an understudy is? Yeah, it's, uh, it's an actor who's there in case the lead gets sick or mm -hmm. something. Uh, that's right. Before the vanishings, I was an understudy... At life. Is this you being dramatic again? <laughs> yes and no. I knew my lines and my movements, but I saw life as though through a curtain. Had you heard the gospel before the vanishings? Oh, many times. I had many relations who believed. Your parents? No. They were killed during the earthquake. Oh, sorry. They were on a cruise along the Rhine River near the town of Bingham. When the earthquake hit, the ground opened up and swallowed the river and everything on it. Wow. And your wife, is she back in Germany? Uh, no. She awaits me on the other side. I miss her terribly. That's got to stink. Uh, sometimes I wonder if I came to New Babylon because it is God's will for me or because I'm on a mission of death. You mean you... <laughs> One mistake, and I'll be with my Ilsa again. Forever. How did... She was killed by the global community soldiers in a battle led by Otto Weiser. You mentioned him before. I'm not sure he and I share the same vision anymore. Is he as militant as you guys are? <laughs> yes. Only his loved ones are still alive. Vicky, you mind if I join you? Not at all. I'd appreciate the company. You look like you wanted to be all alone, sitting out here all by yourself. Yeah, I do and I don't. Don't try to figure it out. I don't even understand it. <laughs> Thinking about our boy? Yeah, <laughs> our boy. It's a weird way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was also thinking about how much I'm going to miss this place when we go to Petra. I've been thinking about that, too. Jed wants me to be his best man. Yeah, we both do. I'm just not sure it's such a good idea going to Petra. I'm not even sure it was a good idea going to New Babylon. <laughs> yeah, what do they say about hindsight being 2020? <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about my Uncle Andre. Really? Yeah. I, mean, I really love that guy. He's always in some kind of jam, but... Yeah, I still loved him. Yeah, I remember you telling us about him. And that Leroy Bankster who killed him. I still think he would have become a believer eventually. He seemed like he was so close. Mm. You can't dwell on the past. Mm. Yeah, I've been thinking about Ryan and Bruce, too. Man, all those good friends I had who died. Yeah. Mark's cousin, John. I just don't want to see anything happen to Judd. I mean, you can be a jerk sometimes, but... <laughs> Still the best friend I got. <laughs> <laughs>
A jerk, huh? That's my future husband you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> lucky you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, bad news! What's up? GC police are doing house-to-house -house search on this block. It's there right next door. Great. Uh, don't worry. We are prepared for this eventuality. Both of you, head off to number two. Number two? It's an escape tunnel. Uh, yes, uh, through this door. What about you? I have decided I have a new mission right now. What are now. you talking about? I am talking about getting Judd and his Fraulein back together. That is my mission today. What? No, oh, don't, don't do be this. the same. No, help it, you can't. Now it's ah. too late. He's made his decision. Oh, they're crazy. They're all crazy. That may be, but we're alive. And to stay that way, we have to go now. Fine. Come on. Let's go. Uh. Hey, Vicky, hold up. Hey, what's going on? I was wondering if you heard anything from the Judster in New Babylon. No, nothing. It's been two days. I'm starting to get worried. <laughs> starting? I've been worried about Judd for years. You know what I mean. Well, you wouldn't leave you hanging without a good reason. I know. That's why I'm worried. Episode 67, Stumbling in the Dark. Judd, you want some more water? No, I still have some here. Check with one of the others. Matthias, anybody need some more water? Uh, thank you, no. How much longer do you think we need to stay in this tunnel? I don't know. We are monitoring the global community activity outside on that laptop. Hopefully Chang Vong will alert us when it is safe. Any chance I can use that laptop to get in touch with someone? If we cannot risk revealing our position, any mistake could prove to be fatal. Sitting here could be the mistake that proves to be fatal. Yeah. We must wait. How much longer do you expect us to sit here in the dark? Yeah. This is intolerable! You must all be patient. As soon as we receive word, we will leave. Your people are getting restless. <laughs> Calm yourselves! No! We're leaving now! Yeah, this could be a problem. Friends! Friends! You must not do this! You heard the explosions? How many of you did we help out of the rubble? This is not wise, my friends. But how long do you expect us to stay cooped up in this tunnel like rats? Ugh, the smell of the sewers is unbearable! Come on, fella. No! We're leaving now! Someone better stop these guys. There's too many for me and you. Heinrich! Help me open this door! Guys? Fools. Shh. It appears there's nobody here. What did he say? Looks like the coast is clear. And that's fine with me. Are you getting a little claustrophobic too? Yeah, I'm afraid of the dark. Good one. Come on. Be careful. This could be a trap. If it is, we have already fallen into it. Yeah, it doesn't look like the whole house blew up. The blast was set to explode outwards, towards the street. Something we learned from Otto Weiser. <laughs> uh, Gunther has been with our team since we left Germany. Yeah, well, uh, from the sounds of things, uh, I should be glad you're on uh, our side. I am on the Lord's side. Watch out for that rubble. Oh, thanks. Guess I wasn't watching where I was oh, oh, Get your oh. hands in here! Now! Was a trap. Whoops. Get against the wall! Find it! Secure their hands! Ow! You have to make it so tight? Ah! Might I suggest you don't say anything for a while? What's the point of staying silent? They're just gonna kill us anyway! Well, you are a mouthy one, aren't you, Judd? You can kill us, but you're still not gonna win! Now, you must be a Ben Judai? I'm a Christian! Oh, a Christian? Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Anyone seen a Jesus Christ lately? Keep laughing. You will see him soon enough. Oh, is he making a comeback sometime soon? Should I hold my breath? Yeah, be my guest. Yes. Maybe he'll come back again soon. Maybe he'll come back in the next, oh, five minutes. Maybe he will come back in time to save your lives. It doesn't matter if he saves our lives. He will return when he chooses to return. Give us a minute and we can give you an exact will date. Will he come back before I shoot your friend? Matthias! Stay where you are. He may shoot me, but he will not stop us. Perhaps. I will kill every one of you myself! Your gun is pointed at me. 
I will not stop you. You could have eaten if you wanted to. My life does not belong to me. To live is Christ. To die is gain. <laughs> Maybe I won't kill you. Maybe we'll have the lot of you shipped to the island. Yes. Yes. To live is Christ. Shut up! Do you hear me? What's the matter? You sound nervous. Platoon! Ready! You can shoot us, but the rocks will pry out. Check in! <sighs> What's going on? What's the matter? Nikolai forget to pay his power what? bill? No. Everything's dark. I can't see anything. Judd, can you see me? Yeah, it's darker, but I can still see you. This is a judgment from God. Let's take advantage of it. It's time to go. Stop them! Ah, hold on. I got something I gotta do. Shoot them! This is gonna hurt you. Unless you plan to hurt me. Whoa, a boot to the head. Hey, Jackie Chan, what comic book did you get that line from? Take these. What? Wire cutters, cell phone, pistol. God. Get these restraints off everybody. Do it while we run. We have no idea how long this will last. Okay. Oh, this is crazy. I can't believe these people are so afraid of the dark. Hold still and cut your cuffs off. All right. Ah! Oh, that feels better. From what I can tell, it's not just dark. It's total blackness. Yeah, those soldiers, they couldn't see anything back there. Keep moving. Does anybody know what the Bible says about this? In Revelations, it talks about darkness descending on the earth. Well, that's the understatement of the century. Good to let me free your hands. Thank you. You still have a cell phone you caught from that soldier? Yeah. Why? I'm gonna make a call on Carpathia's dime. Oh, hang on. Here she is now. John! Vic! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> oh, better now. Where are you? Still in New Babylon. What was that? It's the blackout. People are going nuts. What blackout? You got daylight? Well, no. Moonlight, though, and stars. Oh, yeah. Dark time. <laughs> Must just be in New Babylon. Mm. Believers can see. Everybody else is completely lost. Oh, sounds like a great time for you to get out of there. Yeah. Listen, some of the guys here want to take advantage of this and rescue some of the believers in the execution centers. Uh, of course they do. We're going to be fine, Vic, okay? They can't see us. We don't know how long this is going to last. Yeah, that was Gunther's point, too. Gun Who's Gunther? Judd, what is going on? I gotta go, babe. I love you. <sighs> better. Check it out, you guys. This car will work. As soon as we relieve it of its owner. Is that a global community vehicle? It has no owner. Then we will relieve it of its occupant. Come on, fellas. We need to get on the stick here. The GC may decide to kill its prisoners before we get to the facility. We better make this good. Who's there? Relax, soldier. It's Commander... Uh, Maddox. Uh, I don't know you. I can't see you. I know, I know. I'm afraid we have to commandeer your vehicle. Well, what about me? You can't leave me here. You will do what the commander tells you. Then he tells you. The darkness. Don't tell me you're afraid of the dark. No, sir. Soldier, you will remain here until we return with your vehicle. Is that understood? Yes, sir. And we need your radio, too. Yes, sir. Here, here, sir. Uh, I hear you. Uh, where are you? Over here, soldier. Stop playing games, General. We have a deadline to keep. Soldier? Yes, sir. As you were! Wes, something tells me you were enjoying that way too much. Yeah, I'll take any chance I get to stick it to those GC thugs. <laughs> Good. If ever going, you will have that opportunity. Where's that? There is a GC holding facility where prisoners... Mostly Jewish. ...are processed for their trip to the concentration camps. So it's not just believers we'll be rescuing, it's Jews as well? Correct. Some of them have not yet made their decision. They will have neither the mark of Christ or Carpathia. Sounds like a worthy cause. So what's the plan? What do you mean, keep control? It took me 20 minutes to find the phone just to call you. Insubordinate? I can't see anything. Nobody can. It's a complete blackout. I mean, I can hear radios, I can hear machines, so we have power. Nobody can see anything, though. Yeah? Well, you can relieve me of command when you can see your way to get down here. I do hope that wasn't a superior, Lieutenant. Only in the chain of command. Hey, how did you know my rank? We're looking at your insignia. You can see? Thanks to the implants command grade officers have been issued, we can see just fine. Command grade? Why don't I have them yet? You'll need to put in a requisition for them. How am I... We do not have time for this, Lieutenant. We are here to pick up the prisoners. 
Prisoners? What prisoners? Consider it a favor. You have no way of keeping track of them right now, do you? Well, they are locked up. Are you sure? Uh, uh, here are the transfer papers. Uh, are, are those signed? Lieutenant! Uh, sorry. Okay. If you will unlock the door, we will collect the prisoners ourselves. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, let me find that button. To your right. Oh, uh, okay. Your other right. Sorry. It's chaos around here. Got it. On the door! I think we can find our way from here. Who's there? Can you help us? Whoever it is can't help you any more than you can help yourself. Are there any Judahites here? We're over here. Judd, Veston, go get them. Yes, get them out of here. Take them to the island. What about you? Do you want to stay here? Stay, leave. What difference does it make? Go to... <clears throat> uh, Maddox! Get this door open, too. Fine. I'll come with you. I've given up on my messiah ever returning anyway. Maybe we can help you meet him. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, we're all set. All right. Everybody takes the hand of the person in front of you. Viva leads the way out. Let's go, boys. Our fate is awaiting us. You have no idea. How far are you going to make us march? If you're going to kill us, just get it done now and spare my feet. Everybody stop! Oh, now I've done it. We should probably tell you, those of you who can't see us, we're not global community officers. You're all free to go, but we do have a safe house where you're all welcome. It will be a bit crowded, yes, but you're still welcome. Wait a minute. If you aren't GC officers, how can you see so well? Who are you? We're Christians. Christians? Judites? We prefer Christians. Look out! Ah! 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 They can't see us! God has blinded them! He's blinded me too! Stay down! Absolutely I will stay down. They'll get tired of shooting at nothing soon enough. Ah! Ah! Oh, you Christian! Tell me why you think Jesus was the Messiah. Right here? Now? You have something better to do while we wait. Ah! Ah! Wow, where do I start? Uh, all right. In Genesis, God curses the serpent and says that the descendant of Eve will crush the serpent's head. Jesus won that victory on the cross. I need more than that. Uh, in Isaiah, it says that a virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. Mary, Jesus' mother, was a virgin. Ah! I've heard all this before. These are things you cannot prove. They are legend. Look, belief requires a certain amount of faith. I believe Jesus was a good teacher, but he never claimed to be the Messiah, did he? Uh, he said God was his father. That's why the Jewish leaders wanted him killed. He said, I existed before Abraham was born, which is how God described himself to Moses. But did he ever actually say that he was the Messiah? <laughs> John the Baptist sent someone to ask that very question, something like, John wants to know if you're the one who is to come, or should we expect someone else? And what did Jesus say? He said, uh, I'm going from memory here, something like, go back and tell John that the blind can see, the lame can walk, the deaf can hear, and the good news... Is preached to the poor. That's Isaiah 61. Yeah. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because the Lord has appointed me to bring good news to that poor. Wow, you know your scripture. I studied for years. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to announce that the captives will be released and the prisoners will be freed. That's what he did for you today, Zavi. All right, looks like there's a lull in the shooting. Let me find the others. See what they want to do. I will be here. I'll be right back. Judd, everybody over there safe? We're having a nice little foxhole chat. We need to get moving. Is he coming with us? Uh, probably depends on where we're going. There is another safe house we use. It is further from the center of New Babylon. All right, if I were a betting man, I'd say he's coming. Go get him. We leave as soon as you're back. All right. Always running, never getting to relax. I am ready. Good. We need to hook up with the others. No, I am ready to accept Jesus as my Messiah. You are? Don't be so shocked. I have to admit to you, I spent quite a bit of time on Zion ben Judah's website before I was arrested. When I read it, it seemed to be abstract information. Something about the way you and your friends behave makes it real. No reason to wait. You can pray right here. Then that is what I will do. Well, I'm really excited to hear God's using you. I... I just wish you wouldn't take so many chances. We were supposed to get married tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not nuts about the change of plans either. Well, how soon do you think you'll be in Petra? Well, no way to say. We don't have an airplane right now. <sighs> Great. Don't be mad, Vic. This, this isn't how I wanted it to be either. Right now, we just need to do what we can. I mean, don't you think God put me in New Babylon at this time so I could 
help rescue some of these people while the lights are out? I mean, you know, sometimes I get the feeling we think we're more valuable to God than we really are. I mean, he could do all this on his own. Okay, he lets us help, all right? But Christians have already used the darkness here to trash execution facilities and save people's lives. But New Babylon isn't going to last much longer. I just want you out of there before God takes out the entire city. Vicky, we'll be out of here soon. I promise. Still love me? Am I still talking to you? <laughs> Get everything squared away with the little misses? As squared away as they're gonna get. Why, what are you guys cooking up? Zavi here was telling us something interesting. One of my cellmates worked at the Shinor Suites and Conference Center. Wow, pretty upscale job for someone without Carpathia's mark. He went unnoticed for a very long time while he was living in a boiler room. Uh, tell him the other part. Every Tuesday morning, Carpathia's highest ranking officers meet in the Tigris room. Tuesday? Tomorrow? If we can get in there without being seen, which should not be a problem, we can cause major disruptions to their chain of command. Or find out what their plans are. Well, boys, I don't see any reason why we can't sit in on their little meeting tomorrow. Who's out there? Who is that? You want to answer him? Probably not worth Who it. Who is that? Stop this foolishness. Let's get inside the hotel. Do you know where the Tigris room is? How hard could it be to find? There will be a dozen global community officers filling the vaults looking for the door. And what should we do once we get inside? The officers all carry cell phones. Very high tech and very important. First, I want you to collect all of them. Without them knowing? Many of them will set them on the table. Remember, they can't see anything. Right, right. Anything else? Make note of who is there and what they say. Roger that. And whatever you do, don't make a sound. Now, let's find the tigers. Uh, gentlemen, let's get this meeting going. Yes, sir. I'm sure we'd all rather be somewhere where we can see what we're doing. Yes, Potentate Carpathia won't be present. I have just come from a rather interesting meeting with the Potentate. Interesting? In what way? Uh, he made it clear that insubordination will not be tolerated. Yeah, that's understood, is it not? The Potentate wanted even those in the highest level of leadership to know that they are not above... Um, Capital punishment. Mm. Well, that doesn't sound good. I am only glad I was not able to see better. What I did see was troubling enough. Someone said he ripped a man's heart out of his chest with his better hands. Folks, we are not here to discuss another meeting. We are here to have our own. General, uh, can you give us any update on the situation? Hmm. As I mentioned, there is a limited field of vision in proximity to the potentate. It appears his presence actually provides a glow. And is it true that the blackout is limited only to New Babylon? What? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, sir? No, nothing. Uh, somebody bumped into me over... Who is that? Oh, all right. All right. The question is what? Is the problem local? As far as we know, New Babylon is the only area affected by this blackout. Other regions and countries have reported no loss of light. Is the glow around the potentate enough to eliminate the entire city? <laughs> only about three feet. But it is comforting to know that he has the situation under control. And does anyone at the palace know what is causing this? It may be a side effect of the heat wave or, or some other electromagnetic problem. These things happen. The potentate assures us it will pass quickly. Is the potentate aware of the suicides or the trouble we're having simply doing our jobs? The potentate assures us he is aware of everything, General. With all due respect, but the citizens and the military are in a lot of pain. Some from the blackout, some from the heat wave. I, I understand your concerns, and believe me, everyone at the palace is doing their best to provide relief. Thank you, sir. Of more immediate concern is the island facility. Now, as you know, the potentate has considered closing it, and now he is anxious about the prisoners there. A anxious in what respect? The island is the only camp for Jews in the blacked-out area. The potentate suggests we accelerate the extermination plans for all prisoners immediately. Oh, that sounds like we have more work to do. How do you propose we do that? We can't even see the prisoners to execute them. The potentate has left it to us to find a way. Shoot them, burn them. The potentate doesn't care how we do it. 
just so long as we get it done. Now let me see if I can contact the island. I'd say it's time to cut the lines of communication. That's strange. What's that, sir? I, I just used this phone a few moments ago, and now it's dead. Well, would you like to borrow my mobile, sir? Thank you. No, I'll use mine. Um, if I can find it. Who's got my mobile phone? Oh, mine is missing, too, sir. Time to go. Right behind you. That'll leave him guessing for a while. Well, these guys trust each other. I got a feeling it'll go to fistcuffs before too much longer. It's getting ugly in there. Yeah, we were just talking about that. What do you have there, Gunther? I grabbed General Showalter's briefcase. I'm guessing he has all the info on the island that we need. And we were thinking that it might be a good idea to get some of those people out of there. Yeah, before Carpathia starts killing them wholesale. Hey, can you hear me better now? Looks like we missed one. Who said that? He did. Smile! Uh, 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 nice! Thank you. I got the phone. Let's go. Come back here. The island is exactly that. An island in the Euphrates River. According to these reports from the General's briefcase, it is a highly restricted and well-guarded facility. Great. How do we get in? Well, first we need to avoid the razor wire at the river's edge. Check. Then we need to get past the mines planted in the ground surrounding it. Okay. Then we need to get over the new electrical fence perimeter that was just installed. Yeah. And after that, it's just a matter of getting inside the 14-foot thick, 28-foot tall wall that surrounds the prison finding the prisoners, and getting out the same way we came in. Well, all right. Sounds like fun. Does anyone have any ideas? Well, based on what you just told us, I'd say by water is not an option. All I can think of is doing what we did at the holding facility, walking in the front door. How long will this plague of darkness last? I don't know. How many people do you expect to rescue from the island? I don't know. Your answers are not comforting. Look, I can't help that. All I do know is that the GC is going to kill a whole bunch of people real soon unless we get over there and rescue them. You're right. We do need to hurry. Remember, these prisoners are already marked for death. The guards will not hesitate to shoot to kill. Right. And on that note... When we get to the island, who's going to be who? We'll have to play some of this by ear, as you Americans say. We also need to take care of the defenses. The guards are bound to get suspicious when hundreds of men walk out through the front gate. Hundreds? Uh, I wasn't counting on that many either. They won't all fit in the car. It's time to get rid of this GC car anyways. Yeah, well, uh, I'm better with technical stuff. Judd's better with people. I will help Judd get the men together. Weston will find and shut off the electrical defenses. Gunther... You will need to do something with the guards. Fine. They're here. Oh, man. I can't believe we're about to do this. This may be one of the most daring rescues in the history of mankind. Yeah, or it may be the most harebrained idea we ever came up with. Well, we'll know in a moment. Let's go. Front gate. Yes, sir. Right away. Oh! What is taking so long, soldier? Sorry, sir. I, I can't see. Can't, can't see anything. Corporal, we're not interested in what you can and cannot see. I want to know why nobody answered the phone when I called. I really don't know. Corporal, I... where are the prisoners now? Which prisoners? The ones we're taking with us. Do you not have the prisoners ready for us? I never received Corporal. prisoners. Unless you want to spend the rest of your military career catching mortars with your mouth, you will tell us where the prisoners are. Most of them have been in the yard, okay? Nobody can see anything. Wait, how can you two see, <clears throat> sir? Uh, we've both been issued corrective eyewear. Wow. Corporal, if you don't lead me to the prisoners, double quick. Right. Mortar's mouth. Huh. This way, sirs. One moment. I have something to do first. All guard personnel, report to the cafeteria immediately. Repeat, all guard personnel, report to the cafeteria. That should help. Episode 68, Move to the East. Now, 
The yard is surrounded by the complex of buildings in a horseshoe shape. We can it, see that, Corporal. Right. Sorry. General, why don't you take the Corporal and join the other guards? There's your cafeteria. At uh, Building 3, over there, I think. Now you know what to do. As do you, General. Corporal! Now! Uh, yes, sir. I thought they'd never leave. All right. Now I'm going to find out where I can shut down the defenses. Be careful. Okay, the floor is yours. <clears throat> Everybody, listen up. I have something to tell you, so I want you all to step this way. Yeah, that's right. Keep coming toward me. Don't be afraid. What will you do next? Haven't you tortured us enough? No, you will not be tortured anymore. My friends and I, we're not with the global community. We're Christians, and we're here to rescue you. I don't believe you. None of you can see. The guards can't see either. We can. We can lead you out of here. You will kill us. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob caused this blackout. He caused the disappearances all those years ago and the earthquake. Everything that's happened was foretold in the scriptures. Your scriptures! Yours too! The book of Daniel talks about these things. The book of Ezekiel does too. Sounds like the fence just got turned off. Follow us! We'll lead you out! If you want to come with us, we can arrange for your safety. If you don't, just please remember what I said. We must go. Everybody take the hand of the man next to you. We will lead you over the bridge and causeway. You will be free to go after that. Young man. Yeah. Tell me more about these prophecies. Awesome, Vic. You wouldn't have believed it. We let almost 150 men out of that prison. That is cool. <laughs> Where are you now? Another safe house. Another German guy named Otto Vaser is running it. How do you hook up with him? Gunther and Matthias knew him. So you're still in New Babylon? Yeah. And I got a little bad news on that front. Oh, that is not what I want to hear from you. Yeah, I've been trying to call Chang. When I finally got a hold of him, he was already flying to Petra with Ray Steele. Wait, they left without you? Yeah, they took advantage of the blackout. So you're stuck? They'll be back. What? Look, Chang's gonna work something out for me, okay? He knows <sighs> Otto. He knows how to contact us. And how am I getting to Petra? I'm not sure yet, Vic. Don't worry, though. It'll happen. Yeah? Hey, can I come in? Uh, I'll come out. What's with the grim look? There's a news report on GCCNN. Looks like they captured Chloe Williams. Buck's wife? Yeah, Buck's wife. Captain Steele's daughter. They showed footage of her in custody. Well, uh, they could fake that, right? I guess. I, I don't know what to think. I I contacted your friend in New Babylon. Chang Wong? Yeah, well, he's in Petra now. Wherever. He's, he's looking into it for us. Chloe Steele. What if they really did catch her? She's the one in charge of the co-op. Been in the trip force since it started. She and I used to study the prophecies together in Bruce Barnes' office. They captured her. That's a pretty big deal. What's up, gang? I was just telling her about Chloe Steele. Yeah. I just talked to Ray Steele. You know, her dad. Yeah, yeah, we know him. What did he have to say about it? Nothing. Not a word. It's like he was trying hard not to talk about it. Hmm. Why'd he call? It was a recruiting call. Seriously, that's awesome. Tell me he's looking for help on something. And that's why I needed to talk to Vicky. Me? Why? Mac McCollum is flying into Hudson tomorrow night. From there, he's going to Petra. Petra? For real? And I'm supposed to get you on that plane. Ah, oh, really? That's great. That's cool. You got room for any more? Ray says she can bring one person with her. Oh, that could be a problem. I know you want to come along, Mark, but Dud wanted Lionel to be his best man. And that's going to max out his load. What? You don't want to be away from Darien anyway, do you? I just want to be doing more than I am. Right now I feel like I'm totally punking out. I wouldn't say that. I wish there was more we could be doing from here, too. I just think it's time to stay hidden. That's easy for you to say. You're going to Petra tomorrow. <laughs> Mark, what's eating you, anyway? I, I don't know. Maybe it's the whole Chloe thing. No, but you're not the only one who's upset about that. Yeah, but I think I'm the only one around here who wants to talk about rescuing her. Well, do you even know where they're holding her? No. And even if you did, how are you going to get in and get her and get out alive? I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I just hate doing nothing. Mark. Nah, let him go. Part of me thinks he's right. Yeah, me too. Well, you better go tell Lionel to get packing.
worry about us, guys. You'll be seeing us again soon. We ain't got but a year left before Jesus comes back. Mm. Something tells me that'll be soon enough. Seriously, though, Vicky, Lionel, it's been nice getting to know you all these months. I can't tell you how excited we are for you and Judd. Thanks. That means a lot. Oh, you mean Vicky and Judd. <laughs> <laughs> I think I liked him better when he couldn't remember who he was. I, uh... <clears throat> what is it, Ty? I, I just wanted to, uh, say thanks, I guess. Tanya and me wouldn't be here if it weren't for Vicky, so thanks. Ty, I think that's the most I've heard you say since I got here. Yeah, get out of here. You guys do need to get going if you're going to catch that plane. Yeah, we need to get Vicky to the church on time. Let's just say a quick prayer before they go. Yeah, good call. Heavenly Father, we ask you to be with your servants as they travel to far-off places, to things that we can't know. Keep them safe, protect them, hold them in your hand and bless them. And bless this marriage that you're arranging. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Does that look like a plane? Uh, well, I can see your lights, so... Yeah, it does look like a plane. Oh, thanks for driving us up here, Mark. I figured it was the only way I could get you alone at all. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by alone. I'm sitting right here. Uh, well, I mean, not in front of everybody. I mean... I don't know. I, I've known you two longer than anybody. We've had some knockdown, drag out fights in the last six years. You were there when my cousin died. You're the closest thing to family I've got. <clears throat> you don't have to say anything, Mark. I know what you mean. Yeah, man. We're all cool. <laughs> all right, well, I'll be seeing you guys. You can always try to catch another flight to Petra. <laughs> nah, my calling is somewhere else right now. What does that mean? Nothing. Don't worry about me. I'll be praying for you guys. Yeah, don't stop. See you, Mark. Bye. Oh, welcome aboard, kids. I'll be your pilot today. Match the name. Nice to meet you, Mac. Well, let me guess. You're Vicky. Good guess. Heard a lot about you from a doughy-eyed kid named Judd. Aww. How's it going, Lionel? Good. I'd shake hands, but... Yeah, I heard about that. Some kind of deal. Tell you what, you get my vote for making the best of a really tough situation there, friend. You do what you gotta do. True enough. True enough. What we gotta do right now is get out of here. Get yourself strapped in and we're gone. Hey. Mind if I join you up here for a while? No. Not at all. Just doing a little uh, early morning reading. <laughs> that the sun rising? Yeah, you ever see it from seven and a half miles up before? Oh, I've only flown a couple times and never over the ocean. Wow. Yeah, you should have seen the ocean when it uh, turned to blood. Now that was quite a sign. Oh, I bet. So, you know Judd? Mm, Judd, yeah, we're uh, not what you'd call poker buddies, but <laughs> I know him. In fact, uh, the plan I heard is that I'm supposed to pick him up after I finish my business in El Basra. What's in El Basra? Uh, I have some digs there I need to get cleaned up. GC is probably going to be dropping by soon. You're expecting them? Uh, a friend of mine and I had apartments there, and he got killed. Gotcha. There's a lot of that going around. <laughs> Tell me about it. Anyway, after I go clean up our digs there, I'm going to be picking up Otto Vaser and his crew in New Babylon. And Judd's supposed to be with them. If he knows what's good for him. <laughs> hmm. Judd knowing what's good for him. Hmm. You can't be serious, Mark. You have no idea where she even is. They picked her up in San Diego. She's probably still in that area. Oh, Marshall, help me out here. I, I agree with Conrad. We, we don't have enough information, and... With a prisoner like Chloe Williams, you have to assume the GC is going to be extra careful. Yeah. Ty, you have to agree with me. Why? Because you've been fighting the GC. You know they can be beat. Actually, I agree with Marshall and Conrad. Ugh, figures. I mean, at least for now. Maybe when we find out a little more. I think by the time we hear something, it'll be too late to do anything about it. Uh, that's kind of my point. Mark, just relax. When we can do something about it, we will do something about it. You guys... Ah! Looks like Mark's getting up ahead of steam. Yeah, he gets that way sometimes. It's a tough situation. I'd love to do something, but I, I, I just don't think there's much we can do for Chloe Williams.
Lionel. Hey, Lionel. Hey, hey, check it out. Jay <laughs> Wong, come say hi. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Sorry, I'm only giving you half a hug. That's okay. I understand. How are you doing? I'm all right. Oh, hold up. I want you to meet somebody. This is Vicky Byrne. Ah, the infamous Vicky B. Big fan. <laughs> Love your live concerts. Oh, am I going to be hearing that for the next few months? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Great to finally meet you. I I've heard a lot about you. Oh, it's nice to finally meet you, too. I've heard, uh, I don't know, some things about you. <laughs> <laughs> you look different, Shane. What is it? Look close. Uh, I don't... Nah, I ain't seeing it. He doesn't have Carpathia's mark anymore. Excuse me. Oh, through. that's it. Do what happened? Yeah, Judd, tell us how they forced the mark on you. The elders all piled around me and prayed with me. They put their hands on my head and boom, it was gone. That oh, is that's awesome. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you think it will work on my arm? Why, you got Carpathia's mark on your arm? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious, wow. man. Let me give you a round of applause on that. <laughs> Yes, come in. Dr. Benjuda, this is Vicki Byrne and Lionel Washington. Oh, come in, come in. Please sit. Thanks. I can't believe this is the first time we've seen each other face to face. We've talked and emailed so much. Actually, we've seen you before, but you probably don't remember us. When was that? At Bruce Barnes Memorial Service. Oh, of course. A very sad day indeed. Not for Bruce. Oh, very true, <laughs> very true. Anyway, I am so pleased you two have made it to Petra safely. I understand Judd Thompson will be joining us here soon, too. I hope so. It'd be a pretty strange wedding if the groom didn't show up. <laughs> well, perhaps Lionel will be willing to take his place. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> uh... I just remembered I left some of that man on the stove. Just... Lionel, oh. where are you going? Oh, Vicky, given that response, I hope Judd does show up uh, for your sake. Yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Come, John. We must hurry. Get dressed. What's going on? Did they find us? Not yet. Hurry, hurry. <sighs> Gather everything you can carry. You must leave now. Do I have time to email Vicky and tell her? You and your incessant emails. The plane leaves in a few minutes. All right, great. I just gotta get this shoe on. Gotta... <laughs> Stop playing games, uh, Judd. Uh, this is a game. I call an injury timeout. The plane is not going to bed. Uh, what plane? We just walked out the front gate. A couple of hundred guys walking down the middle of the street in New Babylon. <laughs> oh, man. The funny part would have been if you could have seen the line of guys all holding hands to keep from tripping over each other. <laughs> you heard about Ray, Chang, Naomi, and Abdullah walking into the palace, didn't you? Yeah, they didn't rescue anybody, but uh, I hear they got some good intel and had some fun in the process. So, I got a question for you. Sure. Wasn't there supposed to be an angel or something warning us to get out of New Babylon? Bible talks about it. Did I miss it? Judd, if there was an angel making an announcement, I don't think you'd miss it. But it hasn't happened yet. There must still be some believers there. That would be my guess. If I had to guess, I'd say that's Max plane coming in for a landing. It's about time. Hey, Chang, is that Max plane? Yeah, that's it. What's up, Chang? You don't look so good. Bad news. What? The GC executed Chloe. What? There's footage of it on their website. Oh, no. You gotta be a pretty sick dog to put something like that on the internet. They televised it, too. Poor Buck. And Kenny! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Petra. Please wait for the plane to come to a full and complete stop before you unbuckle your... Ah, forget it. Do whatever you want. Nothing's gonna happen to you now. <laughs> nice. You know, I always wanted to do that when I was flying commercial. I'm glad you made the switch. The question is, are you glad to be back in Petra? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get so excited, Judd. Your heart might give out on you. I'd be happier if Vicky were here. Oh, come on now. Don't sell Petra short just yet. You never know who you might meet. Yeah, it's not the same. Ah, Vicky Schmecky. What about the cute girl at the end of the runway there? Uh, the one with the red hair? No. There's no... There's no what, Judd? Something wrong? That girl. With the red hair. Yes. That is Vicky! How did she get here? <laughs> Maybe you notice the guy standing next to her. Not nearly as cute, but... They... Lionel! Yep. Uh, Judd, the plane stopped. Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Amore, amore. John! Ah! Oh, I had no 
no idea you were here. We wanted to surprise you. Oh, oh, how long have you been here? A few days. Oh. We're both doing good, too. Oh, I can't believe you're here. I am. Um, and I can't breathe right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Based on that hug, I'll assume you missed me. Assume away. Uh, did you miss me, too? Did you hear something? Oh, just the beating of my heart. Yeah, very funny. Oh, hey, look, it's Lionel. Good to see you, too, bud. Hey, you too, dog. Glad you could make it. Oh, by the way, Vicky's already here. Hi. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> They call this the theater. It figures. The Nabataeans carved it out of the stone during the first century. Wow, it's huge. Sion says it can hold 7,000 people. Maybe we should get married here. But, <laughs> I don't think 7,000 people care if we get married. Well, still, how many people can say they got married at a place like this? <laughs> I still can't believe we're actually finally going to get married. Yeah, who'd have thunk it? Well, I spent a lot of time thinking it wouldn't happen. Especially when you were stuck over here for so long. Really? That's when I thought about it the most. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. We're both here and we're getting married tomorrow. Oh, Cheng told me he'll be able to videotape the ceremony and broadcast it to everybody in Avery. Uh, he can do that? Yeah, I guess. He said something about retasking a GC satellite and piggybacking signals and flux capacitor and some <laughs> other stuff I didn't understand. I stopped asking him questions a long time ago. Well, if it works, that would be great. It'll work. But I don't think we'll have that three-tiered cake you always dreamed of. <laughs> oh, how will I survive? <laughs> to getting married as settling down. Those of us who have chosen that path know that settling down is not always what happens. <laughs> Considering Judd and Vicky have been on the global community's most wanted list for the last three years, <laughs> in their case, it may actually be true. <laughs> then again, having gotten to know them, it's not likely. <laughs> I've known Judd and Vicky, at least from their writings in the news reports, for several years now. I know that they have a depth of love for our Savior and a growing love for each other that being tested as it has is indeed strong. Vic, we met on one of the worst days of our lives. I never imagined that it would also become the greatest day of my life. I reached two major turning points that day, accepting Christ as my savior and meeting you. Getting to know you hasn't always been easy, but it's been rewarding in so many ways. You've made me a stronger Christian and a better person. I thank God for you every day. And by standing up here, I am indicating to the friends here, others in Avery, and most importantly to you, that I will continue to thank God for you every day, no matter what comes our way. <laughs> I knew I should have gone first. <laughs> <clears throat> I know there were times we didn't get along. <laughs> times when we argued so much we probably thought we didn't like each other. Um, I can't remember any of them today. <laughs> um, today I remember all the things that made me fall in love with you. Like when you would help me rinse the black dye out of my hair. <laughs> you said you would never mention that. <laughs> and the time, several times actually, when you arrived in the nick of time to keep me from being arrested. <sighs> I always used to read those wedding invitations that said, Today I'm marrying my best friend. And it always sounded dumb to me. Till today. Today. It's true. And I thank God for you, too. And I'm very excited about our future together. Now that you two have pledged your lives to each other, I want to offer you this challenge. It's actually a challenge you've already accepted. As you give your love to each other, you must give your lives to God. We do not know exactly what the next year will bring, but my prayer is that you would both grow in the grace of our Lord until he comes again. Amen. Mazel tov! Mazel tov! <laughs> you don't have to carry me all the way home. I can walk. Oh, I saw this in a Rocky movie once. <laughs> Thought I'd give it a try. Let me know if you get tired. We're almost there anyway. 
So was that the wedding you always dreamed of? <laughs> Not even close. The manna falling after the ceremony was a nice touch, you though. You like that? <laughs> Just a little something I worked up. So now you're taking credit for stuff God does. Well, that's not a good start. God, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> and here we are. Oh, I can get the door. Uh, uh. <laughs> Welcome home, Mrs. Thompson. Oh, don't even. That makes me sound so old. You like your new home? It's ours. And that being the case, yes. I love it. No mortgage either. Pretty sweet deal. Hey, Rocky, you can put me down now. <laughs> you know, I think this is the first time in six years I've really, truly been happy. Wow. It's so cool to hear you say that. And that, in turn, makes me very happy as well. Well, I'm glad making me happy makes you happy, which makes me happy. <laughs> Judd. Which, yeah? If you put me down, it's going to be a lot easier for me to give you this really big kiss I've been saving up for you. Oh, okay. I'm going to set you down now. All right, everybody, listen up. This could be the target we've been narrowing in on for several months. So I don't want anything to go wrong. Remember, this is northern Wisconsin. Everybody owns a gun. Do not hesitate to fire if you need to, but I want the bodies to be identifiable. If you see Vicky B, we're supposed to take her alive. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Let's get this thing on the bounce. Move out. I can't believe none of you guys want to get involved with this. It's not a matter of not wanting to get involved. We are involved. I just don't think that attacking the GC is a wise choice at this point. I agree with them, Mark. We've been pretty comfortable here in Avery. Probably because we haven't been making waves. Yeah, dude, we've been hiding. Let's call it what it is. Yeah, and we've managed to keep under the GC radar because of it. There's a few dozen people living here that don't want to wake up to soldiers kicking their doors in. I agree with you in spirit, Mark, and I've been praying about this. I just don't feel God leading me to an offensive military position. You know, I've been praying too, Colin. I do feel God leading me that way. <sighs> I don't want to have anything to do with this. I'm leaving. Uh, Darian, come on! You might want to get this worked out with her first. Darian, hold on. Would you stop? Why? Why? You don't care what I think. You don't care that nobody agrees with you on this. You're going to do what you want. You know what they did to Chloe Williams? Yeah. And now you want me to go through it again when they catch you. Forget it. Not this girl. Darian... Don't! <sighs> I'm beginning to think this was all a mistake. All what? Us. You. Me. Everything. You need to start thinking about someone other than yourself. But I... Yeah, I know you think you are, but you're not. This is all about getting revenge on the people that killed your cousin. You blame the GC for him being on that boat that sunk. You're wrong. I've been wrong about a lot of things lately, I guess. Episode 69, Haunting Honeymoon. Morning, sunshine. Ready for breakfast? Nana, my favorite. <laughs> and fresh water for the lady? Seriously, Judd, you've been doing this for what? Four months? 124 days. <laughs> Do you plan on doing this until Jesus returns? I plan on giving it a shot. Here, mm. eat. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Better than Krispy Kreme. I know. I wish we'd had this recipe before the rapture. We could have made a fortune. Mm hmm. Judd, do you ever wonder if it's right that we're so happy now and so many other people are suffering? Oh, I hadn't until you said that. I, mean, I see Buck and Sion, both of whom lost their loved ones. Sion lost his children, too. I almost feel guilty for being happy. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Maybe we can talk to Sion about it. Yeah. Can I come in? 
It's your camp. Packing up already. Yep. Know where you're going yet? Look, Marshal, I know you guys don't agree with me. Darian won't even talk to me anymore. I just don't see why I should be sticking around here doing nothing. Would it make you feel better if I told you I agree with you to a certain degree? Uh, would it? Probably not. Why? Do you agree with me to a certain degree? Yes. I like the idea of proactively taking on the global community. If I were 20 years younger, I'd probably be doing it myself. That's an excuse. No, it's a reason. And I have another reason as well. I'm sure you do. We've spent a lot of time and effort to keep this camp from being noticed by the GC. I'm amazed we've gone so long without them taking a closer look at us. You said this before. I know. But think about this. There's a whole bunch of people here who've spent a lot of the last six and a half years running for their lives, wondering if the next day will be their last. Yeah, and I'm one of them. But you're geared for it. You're a fighter. Do you really expect Maggie Carlson to go around sporting a machine gun? What I'm saying is, some people just want to sit out the next six or seven months without any excitement, and that's okay. That's the way they're geared. And meanwhile, I sit here chomping in the bit, not able to do the job that I'm ready to do. Well, maybe not. What do you mean? If you're serious about getting into it with the GC, I know someone who could use you. Really? Where? South of Chicago. There's a group there that's having problems mobilizing to get up here. They don't have any vehicles, and they need help getting food and water. <laughs> so, not military? No, no, but they could use someone who is. Someone who can get supplies for them. Find and acquire vehicles. I understand you've done that before. <laughs> yeah, once or twice. Anyway, I called Enoch, and he said he'd love to have you if you want to go. Uh, Enoch? Enoch Dumas. He and his group have been holed up in a mall in the burbs south of Chicago since the Strong Building went down. He was in the Strong Building. That's where the Trib Force was set up for a while. You want me to call him back and get this ball rolling? Yeah. Let's go. Vicky, I appreciate your thoughtful concern. It has been difficult for me at times without my dear wife and children... In times of weakness, I, I don't always feel God sustaining me. You certainly don't appear to have times of weakness. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, uh, generally on the days that end with why. <laughs> <laughs> so what about being happy when others are really hurting? You must remember that joy and sorrow go hand in hand. What you feel now is the direct result of what you've been through in the past. So we shouldn't feel bad about it? Don't feel guilty for the gifts that God has given you. Even when others suffer? Would you return the gift that God has given you? I suppose not. Then enjoy each other, and peace, and joy. They are all from the hand of God. This is 4438. Could you connect me to Commander Fulciri? I'll wait. Commander Fulciri. Commander, this is 4438 in communications. We've traced two phone calls coming out of the western Wisconsin area in the last six hours. I finished triangulating them, and we have location confirmation. Where? Just outside the town of Avery. Alert command at Fort McCoy. I want an infiltration team mission ready in two hours. Yes, sir. Well, time for me to get going, I guess. Sorry more people didn't come out to say goodbye. I'm not surprised. Darian is just mad at me. Charlie told me he thought something bad was going to happen to me, and Conrad, who knows? I just want you to know that we're all going to be praying for you. Well, I appreciate that. When do you expect to be in Chicago? A uh, couple of days. You're going to stay in touch, right? Well, as best I can. Better get going. All right. I'll see you soon. All right, team, listen up. Intelligence has provided multiple confirmations that this location is one of the hot items on the GC subversive search list. There's a very good chance that Vicky B is hiding in with this group. I want her alive for interrogation. Everyone else is expendable. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Grab your right. We leave in two minutes. Oh, come on, come on. Not almost. Ah. You know, that's what I get for picking the car with a lousy AM radio. Whoa. Hang on. Just on the horizon. It's too much to be from one car. Too many of them to be tourists. 
I'd say it's time for me to get off the road. This should be a good spot. They won't see me here. Let's see who these guys are. Here we go. Let's have a look. Focus. Well, now. What have we here? GC half tons? And Humvees? Oh, no, and they're headed right for the camp. This is Commander Fulciri. We have six minutes out. Stand by. This your first assault, soldier? Yes, sir. Don't worry. These Judahites aren't much of a threat. We've secured four of these camps in as many months and haven't had a single shot fired at us. Well, that's a good record, sir. Four assaults and not a shot fired. Oh, there were shots fired, just none fired at us. Understood, sir. Don't worry, son. We haven't taken a single- Look out! What was that, sir? It's a car. On fire. They took out Jensen's vehicle behind us, sir. All vehicles. Report in. Okay. Okay, that ought to keep these guys busy for a few minutes. Hopefully enough time for me to get back and warn the others. Oh! Oh! Okay, that hurt. Ah! Oh. Did you hear something, too? Yeah, it sounded like an explosion. That's what I thought, too. See that? It looks like something's on fire over there. Did, did you hear that? Yeah, sounded like an explosion. Did Mark leave yeah, yet? Yeah, about an hour ago. You, you don't think that... <laughs> Phoenix! Come here! What's he barking at? <laughs> Look, someone's running this way from down by the woodshed. Darian, you better get inside, just in case. That's Mark! He's limping! Darian, come back! Mark! Mark! Uh, didn't expect me back so soon, did you? <laughs> You're limping. What happened? You gotta go. You gotta get out of here. Everybody's what? gotta go. What happened? What? Uh, there's a column of GC troops headed this way. I don't think I slowed them down for too long. What? They're on the main road. Uh, yeah. We can take a back way out. All I know is you're not going out the front. What's wrong with your leg? Uh, later. No time right now. I'll go wake up the others. Let's go. Uh, go with them, Darian. You need... I need to tell you I'm sorry uh, for everything I said before. Uh, we don't have time for that now. Besides... I wasn't listening. What? Uh, I'm sorry, too. Now, come on. we got to bail. We're all loaded up here. Yeah, so am I. Hey, check on Fogarty's car. See if he has room for Mark. I'll get out some other way. Someone has to cut off pursuit. How are you going to do that? You can hardly walk. But don't worry about it. I have a plan or two. You guys just get moving. If things work out, I'll meet you at Enox. Get going, Colin. I'll finish up here. All right, whatever you say. Do you even have a gun? I still have this flare gun. All the computer stuff is still here. It'd be nice if they didn't find all that. Right, done. Now get going. Those creeps are going to be here any minute. Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, thanks for the warning. See you guys on the other side. I got some work to do. This has to be it, sir. Why are these buildings burning? Why are these buildings burning? I don't know, sir. Chalks three and four, secure the perimeter. Stop here. These fires were set. You can smell the gasoline. There's no way anybody could be alive in any of them. Start your sweeps. They're running like rabbits, and I want them. All right, let's go. Start a full perimeter sweep. If you find anything, you bring it to me. Well, they won't find me or any of your car keys. <sighs> I'll just borrow the last car in line. Hey! Who are you? <laughs> I'm the Iceman. Now be quiet. I'm borrowing this car. Oh, looks like you're unconscious. Good. That'll make it easier. <sighs> this is easier than I thought. That's my vehicle! Not anymore! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Good thing you're a lousy shot. Wait a second. Who's this now? Whoa! Yeah, why? Oh, it's supposed to be blankets. It feels like you filled it with rocks. 
You're getting soft in your old age. I'll give you old age. <laughs> Judd, Vicky, Lionel said you'd be down here. What's going on? Someone just called for you on the satellite phone. Who? A, uh, Darian. Oh. oh, Darian called. She sounded pretty worried about something. Are we supposed to call her back? She said she would call back again in a few minutes. Or right now. I'll take it. Hello? Vicky, is that you? Yeah, what's wrong? The GC attacked the camp. We had to leave. Well, what, what did everyone get out safely? What's I going think on? so. I mean, nobody knows where Mark is. He said he'd meet us in Chicago. On? Uh, hang on. Chicago? Why Chicago? Uh, Mark, oh, no, someone's hiding out in Chicago. We're all headed back that way. Wow. Okay, be careful. Vicky, Vicky, if you find out anything about Mark, let me know. We had an argument before he left. I will. Everyone was so mad at him. But if he wouldn't have left, the GC would have found us. So he warned you guys? Yes. What's going on? Are you okay? I'm scared, Vicky. I know. Uh, let us know when you get to Chicago. I will. Pray for us. Yeah, no problem there. I have to go. We can't stay on the phone too long. Okay, take care, Darian. So they bailed out of Avery? More like they were forced out. And nobody can find Mark. Oh, great. Is he awake? Looks like he's just coming to now, sir. Get him up. Get up! I'm up. Thank you, Sergeant. I could have done that. You want some water? Mm-hmm. That's enough. That's enough. Are you ready for what they're going to do to you? No mark, no head. You know, they say sometimes the blade sticks. It'll cut into your neck a few inches, but not all the way through. <laughs> sometimes they have to drop it two or three times. Fine by me. Start talking and you can get a clean blade. Oh, no, 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 don't you pass out on me now. He's out again, sir. <clears throat> You have to understand, Judd, I can't get as deep into the GC mainframe as I used to be able to. They set up all kinds of firewalls and password protection grids. Then don't go through the official mainframe. Just search the news outlets. GCCNN.com, any reference you can find to Mark Eisman being captured or executed. If he's that important, they'll tell the world they have him. No, not if they don't know who he is. And Mark's pretty good at playing his cards close to the vest. That's a poker term. I'll keep looking. All right, let me know if you find anything. Mark, wake up. Uh, uh, oh, who are you? A messenger. Yeah? What's the message? Let's get these handcuffs off you. How'd you do that? The how is not important. Just the why. Uh, okay. I'll bite. Your heavenly father knows your needs. He heard the cry of your heart and sent me. To rescue me? This is the message I was sent to give you. When you go through the great waters and the great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fires of oppression, you will not be burned up. The fires will not consume you. That's your message? Hey, who are you talking to back there? Don't worry. They can't see me. I have to know. Are my friends okay? Your actions enabled them to escape. They are all safe. Thank you. Hey, are you leaving already? We will see each other before the end. Take heart. The Lord is with you. Hey! How do you get those handcuffs off? What handcuffs? These? Get those hands up! Get them up! <laughs> you guys have no idea. Roll your fingers across. I said roll it, not press it! Anything yet? He's not being cooperative. They're trying to process him, but he's not being real helpful. Has he given his name? Sure. Well? Clark Kent, Peter Parker, Bruce Wayne, and Richard Kimball. Get him in a cell. I'll take it from here. Is there some place I can get some food? Hi there. 
I hear you won't tell us your name. Hungry? You like Chinese? Personally, I love it. Egg roll. I love this stuff. Want a bite? Uh, seriously, the old eat in front of the hungry prisoner routine? Pretty old school. What else do I have here? Ooh, sesame chicken. My favorite. You smell that? Man, that smells good. Mm, oh man, this is good. This could be the best sesame chicken I've ever had. This is so good, I may have to go kill the guy who cooked it. That's how good it is. You know how insulting it is for you to assume my stomach rules my head? You know what kind of facility this is? This is the real deal, son. This is the land of slamming doors. This is the home to some of the ugliest criminals you have ever seen. I let you loose among the population here. You may as well be dead. Or, we could put you in one of the isolated cells where you could be alone. Tell you what, you give me your name and I'll put you in an isolated cell. Suit yourself. Guard, put him in the C-wing. Here, you can have this. Don't you want to know your fortune? It's yours now. What's it say? You're right. This is my fortune. You'll be traveling soon and coming into a great inheritance. <laughs> Steve, say hello to your new roommate. Who's this? Won't tell us his name. Maybe you can find out for us. You got a name, boy? You won't tell the guards? I don't talk to the screws anymore than I have to. I sure don't talk to them socially. All right, my name's Jeffrey Spaulding. I'm an African explorer. Yeah, you look it. But what are you doing in here? I didn't get Carpathia's mark. Looks like you didn't either. Afraid of needles. What's your excuse? Well, Steve, I'll, I'll tell you. You ever go to Sunday school when you were a kid? my life and make me your child. Come into my life and make me your child. Amen. Amen. Oh, wow. Well, I can't believe it. What? I heard all kinds of stories about people who found God in prison. <laughs> Never thought I'd be one of them. Well, see this cross on my head, Steve? Yeah. Well, where'd that come from? You got one too now. Really? Mm -hmm. Mark Eisman! Uh, oops. Somebody did their homework. What do you mean? Well, that'd be me there, Pajin. They found out who I am. That's your name? Yep. Hey, Steve, pray for me, would you? I don't know how to talk to God. You just did. Talk to him like you talk to anyone else. He knows what you're saying. Come on, Eisman. You got an appointment. Yeah. Your name is Mark Eisman. You attended... Nikolai High School in Mount Prospect. <laughs> yeah, I know. Does it mention that my eyes are green? You were an accomplice of Vicky Byrne, also known as Vicky B., writing and printing a subversive rebel newspaper. <laughs> she's been a burr under my saddle for a long time. Yeah, she's a doodle. This is not a game anymore, Mr. Eisman. You are under arrest for crimes against the potentate of the global community. I don't recognize your potentate. Do you recognize these people? If they're looking a little pale, it's because they were already dead when the pictures were taken. Recognize Natalie Bishop? Or this guy, Pete Davidson? Or this Zuckermandel guy? Or Chloe Williams? Or is it Chloe Steele Williams? Are you enjoying this? Chloe, whatever her name is, sang like a bird before they killed her. Same as you're going to do. You're dreaming. Not me, Eisman. Not me. Guards, hold him down. As soon as I inject you with a little sodium pentothal, you're going to tell me everything I want to know. <laughs> Don't think so. Hold still now. I'd hate to cut you accidentally. Ah! Uh, that a boy. Guys, 
Let's give him a minute. Just relax, Mark. You're about to tell me everything. And there's nothing you can do about it anymore. Mark. Wake up, Mark. Mm. Who... Oh, it's you. You're back. I am here with you. Oh, that shot they gave me. Is that gonna make me talk? God will give you the strength to resist, no matter what they put in your veins. Okay, so I should just keep my mouth shut then? I suggest you... be creative. <laughs> your tormentor is approaching. If you truly need me, I will return. Okay. All right. You should be ready by now. Hmm. <laughs> More food. What you got there? Cheeseburger? Hey, are those onion rings? Looks good, doesn't it? Dude, I'm worried about you. Have you had your cholesterol check lately? Mmm. This is good. Let's start with some easy questions. Okay. Who are you? Is that easy enough? I'm Deputy Commander Fulciri. You're Mark Eisman, right? Uh, sure. Are you a part of what is called the Tribulation Force? Yes. <coughs> you are? Yeah. I uh, head up intramural sports. Football, softball, bocce ball. Uh, we even had a bowling league till the earthquake. Have you ever stolen anything to aid the rebels? <clears throat> Well, there was uh, this satellite TV truck a couple of years back. I was going to fill it with some gas and return it. But uh, someone was trying to kill me, so it didn't quite work out. <laughs> you won't be laughing so much when your head is no longer attached to your shoulders. <laughs> head no longer <laughs> attached to... Yeah. I could see where laughing could be a problem. It doesn't have to happen, you know. <sighs> Look, I'm not going to tell you about my group. You want supply routes, safe houses, all that stuff I, that I don't know. Why don't you just call this one a bust? Go sharpen your blade and we can get on with it. Episode 70, The Last Farewell. What's the word, Chang? Any news about Mark? I haven't found anything yet. I've been busy with the Jerusalem Rebellion. What Jerusalem Rebellion? There's a group of Jews who are stocking up weapons to fight off the global community troops. They want to clear the whole city. That's not going to happen, but okay. We're trying to get some people inside. Most of the people there aren't believers, but they haven't taken Carpathia's mark either. I suppose that whoever goes there would be in lots of danger? Of course. But they'll be able to do plenty for our side. Yeah. Judd? Come on! I'd be doing something! Right now I feel like I'm... I don't know. What do you think your wife would say? Huh. Good question. So, did you bring me out here to get some fresh air, or so I could see the guillotines? Both. I wanted to show you where it happens. Unless you want to play ball with us, tomorrow you'll be out here. You know, don't sugarcoat it. I'm going to end up out here no matter what happens. You don't have to. Just give us the information on the pilots, the supply routes, locations of safe houses, anything. I don't know that stuff. What do you know? We know that your group has a contact in the palace in New Babylon. Who is the mole? If you have a mole, call the exterminator. From me, you get bupkis. Let me take those cuffs off you. Why? We're not all monsters. We do have some compassion. You mean you're going to feed me before you cut my head off? I can keep you alive. Get you a Bible. <laughs> Touching. Take this. Your cell phone? What do you expect me to do with that? You can't escape. You can't call for help since you don't know where you are. Use it to call someone you care about. I'll leave you alone for a few minutes. You don't trust me? No. I'll be back in ten minutes. Yeah. And I'll call my friends. You track it and catch them. Good plan. Hmm. Fortunately, I just came up with a better one. And you're one of the rebels captured by Commander Fulciri in northern Wisconsin? You betcha. If you're just joining us, we have Mark Eisman on the line from a GC holding facility. 
Yeah, that uh, Commander Full Series one tough hombre. He's got me seeing things completely different. Is that so? Yeah. In fact, they gave me this phone so I could call you guys in the media and give you the story. What story is that? My life as a rebel. My life in the Tribulation Force and the truth about our underground website. So the Commander has set you straight? Oh, yeah. What have you told the Commander that you'd like to share with us? Uh, actually, I haven't even shared this with the Commander yet, so <laughs> you get the exclusive. Really? Any of you who have wondered about the disappearances or all these natural disasters like the darkness in New Babylon... There he is. ...or where you'll go when you die, you should check out our website. So you haven't really changed your opinion about the potentate? Are you kidding? Not after the treatment I've been getting here. Ah, oh, see what I mean? Ah, Jesus is coming soon! I'll see you in the other... Ah, ah. Uh, sorry about that. We seem to have lost the feed. We'll be back after word from our local affiliates. Lord, help me out here. It's time for you to get going. Put him in. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> you feel sorry for me? Why? Every knee is going to bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I did it willingly. You're going to have to make it a confession. Get him in there. You can only kill my body. You can't touch my soul. Oh, but if I could. Get his hands. Into your hands. Mark Eisman. Welcome home. What's up, man? You find anything out about Mark? Nothing. Been weeks. I don't think we're gonna find anything out. Even if they executed him? Well, Chang said they might keep it quiet because they want us to think he's spilling his guts or something. But he's probably dead. I don't even want to think about it. I've been thinking about it a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Darian said Mark was looking for something to do. I've been thinking that there's more I could be doing, too. Like what? I'm thinking I want to go help those rebels in Jerusalem. Oh, you can't be serious. Those rebels are going to get stomped. I want to be there when the last war starts, just before Jesus returns. That's crazy talk, dog. I don't know. Anything I can do to make life miserable for those GC goons. And I want to be there when Jesus sets foot on the Mount of Olives. Yeah? Well, what's your wife had to say about this? We've talked about it quite a bit, and she's with me on this. Uh, I should have seen that coming. Come with us. Yeah, that's all they need, a one-armed rebel. I think they'll take whatever help they can get. I gotta be honest, bro. I like it here. I think I want to stay here. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, Lionel. And I saw something before that made me... I mean, I don't want to say it scared me, but... It scared you? Yeah. What was it? A video of one of Carpathia's meetings. There were these three dudes there. It looked like robots or something. Like, they were people, but there was no life in them. Weird. Not as weird as what happened next. These slimy things, they look like frogs or something. Anyway, they crawled out of Nikolai and Leon Fortunato's mouths. Maybe they're just eating snails or something. No way, man. These things crawled into the robot dude's mouths. After that, they started moving around. Oh, like the frog things brought them to life? Yeah. Carpathia called them Ashtaroth, Bale, and Cankerworm or something like that. What do you want to bet they were demons? Man, I'm sure of it. That's why I'm cool sitting this one out here for a little while longer. Yeah, seeing that, I don't blame you. Look, Jed, you and Vicky want to go help the rebels in Jerusalem? Godspeed to you. I think I need to sit this trip out. We're in Palos Hills. It's on the southwest side of Chicago. And there's room for all of you? <laughs> We're living in an abandoned shopping mall. <laughs> That's perfect for you. <laughs> well, I was more into horseback riding than shopping. Mm -hmm. Besides, the pickings are awful slim these days. Oh, tell me about it. Have you found out anything about Mark? Not yet. I don't want to get your hopes up. I know. I know. I just don't want to jump in and believe the worst. Well, just... Imagine he's safe somewhere, and you'll see him in about six months when Jesus comes back. I know. I just... I want him to be okay. Me too. So, uh, what are you working on in Petra? 
Uh, actually, we're working on leaving Petra. What? Where are you going now? Yeah, there's rebel groups in Jerusalem that could use some help. You're going to fight against the army? No, we won't be doing any fighting, but they're not Christians. They're Jews trying to protect Jerusalem. We think it would be a good opportunity to witness to them. In a tough situation? Yeah, but... Some of the people here in Petra aren't nuts about the plan, especially the ones named Lionel. No surprise. Anyway, pray for us. I may not get another chance to talk to you before we go. I'll tell everyone to pray. If I don't see you before, I'll see you after. Hey, Vic, this is Lev. Eliezer Tiberius hooked us up. Lev knows his way around the prophecies. Cool, nice to meet you. Yeah, Lev was just giving me a little background on the rebel situation. Yes. Zechariah 13 says, And it shall come to pass in all the land, says the Lord, that two-thirds in it shall be cut off and die, but one-third shall be left in it. I will bring the one-third through fire, will refine them as silver is refined, and test people. And each one shall say, The Lord is my God. That third are the ones that Dr. ben Judah says are going to be the rebels? Uh, maybe, maybe not. What the passage does say clearly is that they will accept Jesus as Messiah. I'd like to help out with that. ben Judah is going to be there himself. In fact, he's been training with all types of weapons. He's going to fight? And only if he has to. Perhaps he wants to establish his bona fides, as you Americans say. Uh, not many Americans say that, actually. So, uh, you have someone for Dad and I to hook up with once we get there? Yes, there is this man named Yafet that I have known for many years. His wife has just become a believer. But he's not? Not yet. Uh, perhaps you can help change that while you're there. He will be expecting you just after the new year. But that's a few weeks from now. We can't get there any sooner? Mm, I'm afraid not. I suggest you take this time to study the scriptures, meet with Jewish believers, and learn how to witness to those you will meet. Good idea. Yeah, we've got a few weeks. We might as well. You eating alone? Just doing some thinking. Stuff like that. If you want to be alone, I can go someplace else. No, no, it's cool. You can stick around. I mean, I don't hardly talk to you that much lately. You're always doing other stuff. <laughs> kind of seems like we both spend a lot of time staring at a computer screen. It seems like that's all I do. So maybe you're looking for other things to do? Want to get dirty? Get dirty? <laughs> what are you talking about? Consider this my getting you a scoop on a great job opportunity. You gonna sell me kitchen knives? <laughs> no, listen. Zeke is getting a little band of people together to help out during the war. No, I can't even hold a rifle. That's not what I'm talking about. Let me draw this out. Hold my mana for a second. Okay. Okay. See this here? This is Petra with all the rocks and stuff. Mm. All this is desert. And over here is Israel. Follow? Yeah. Now, most people are all mixed up about the Battle of Armageddon. How so? According to Zion, Armageddon is just the staging area for Carpathia's armies. The war is going to take place here at Petra. Here? Yeah, and Jerusalem. So, the Battle of Armageddon is really fought in Jerusalem and Petra. Zion says once the Euphrates River goes dry, things are going to move pretty quick. And that's how Carpathia's armies are all going to get across? Yeah. They'll come this way and end up in this valley here. It's called Megiddo. I heard Sion talk about that place. There's going to be a battle close to us here, but we'll all be safe. Then, Jesus shows up at the Mount of Olives. So you still haven't told me what you need me for? Zeke needs people to go out and pick up weapons, uniforms, supplies, ammo, whatever you can carry. Yeah, that sounds plenty safe. <laughs> We're pretty sure that GC won't have any power over believers who are living here in Petra. God's going to protect us. You sure about that? Well, no. But there's one way to find out. Move that table out from the wall a little. That good? Yeah. Oh, boy. That is a homely-looking bush, but I think it'll get the job done. What are we doing with the old shirt? <sighs> Decorating. I couldn't find any tinsel. Hey, give me that stuff. You got other stuff to get ready. Oh, right. You have the package? Mac dropped it off this morning. I've been keeping both eyes and one hand on it. Dad? We're in here. Get rid of the shirt. Where? Anywhere. <sighs> I know. What brings you over? Uh, Judd asked me to come over for dinner. Ah, oh, super. See what I could whip up? How about mana burgers? <laughs> or manicotti? For dessert, but mana bread? <laughs> you two are a carnival act waiting to be discovered. Lionel, trust me, I know my wife. That was a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did you do to that bush? It almost looks like... A Christmas 
Merry Christmas, Rick. Oh. Merry Christmas. It is, isn't it? December 25th. The last Christmas ever. Oh. Hey, remember that Christmas at your parents' house? You mean the one where Ryan got you that necklace and you thought it was from me? I remember that. Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. We're going to see him again in just a few months. Yeah, and Bruce, and Haya, and my parents. You'll finally get to meet my parents. Yeah! Um, look, Ryan isn't here, and I want to give you something, but I want you to know ahead of time it did come from me. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You didn't have to get me. Yeah, well, I did. <gasps> Is she going to say something at some point? I hope you like it. Mac picked it up for me. I wanted to give you a wedding ring when we got married. I'm sorry you had to wait. It's beautiful. I got it at Harry Winston's. Harry Winston's? You yeah. paid too much. I could have gotten you the same ring for half the price. Half the price? I'm telling you, you want gold, you go see Shecky. Why, I ought to... Thank you. No problem. <clears throat> Somebody say something about dinner? I'm hungry. And we don't have a whole lot of meals left here before we take off for Jerusalem. Oh. Let's not talk about that right now, okay? I agree. Okay. How about we just enjoy the time the three of us have left together? Welcome. Welcome to my home. Uh, thanks for letting us stay here, Yafit. Don't be so thankful. You're not staying here. <laughs> Where will we be staying? You stay in the tunnels. Tunnels? Beneath Jerusalem, there are miles of tunnels. The Arabs used to use them to sneak into the old city and murder my people. They are hundreds, thousands of years old. And they're big enough to live in? They're big enough for an army to live in. We store weapons in them as well. Well, I feel safer already. Judd, Vicky! Over here, Yafet. Have you settled in? Well, it's not as comfortable as we were in Petra, but it's fine. You know, we're just sorting out these rifle clips. These are not clips. They are magazines. Uh, what's the difference? <laughs> a clip slides into the top of a rifle and is removed. A magazine holds the bullets within a cartridge that slides into the weapon. In this case, uh, it is uh, an Uzi 9mm. Oh, well, now we know. <laughs> it is a common mistake. They make it all the time in American movies. You probably shouldn't expect us to know all this stuff, seeing as we're not going to be doing any fighting. While I respect your decision to not be involved in the actual fighting, I should point out that your job will be critical in the defense of Jerusalem. You will need to know much about the variety of weapons used in this battle. Any idea when the battle's going to start? Yes. In fact, we intercepted a communication just this morning. And? It alerted the peacekeepers and morale monitors around the world to prepare for an assignment in the Middle East. In a few days, the entire region will be crawling with Global Community One World Unity Army personnel. Global Community One World Unity Army... Yeah, we Army... just call them bad guys. What, doesn't that mean people without Carpathia's Mark can come out of hiding? Only if they're careful. Citizens can still kill people without the Mark and get a reward. But it is a sign that the end is near. gathering in Israel in preparation for the celebration of the seventh anniversary of the signing of the peace treaty that brought that country and the global community together. In other news, Baghdad-based scientists are still trying to learn what caused the 1,500-mile-long Euphrates River to dry up virtually overnight. Representatives of the Global Community University in Baghdad are looking at connections to the heat wave as well as New Babylon's recent blackout. They are confident, nonetheless, that the source of the disaster is natural and not a cause for alarm. In other news, the economic situation. Good morning, Yafet. Uh, good morning, Judd. What do you have there? Uh, well, if you read the outside of the crate, it says oranges. If you look inside, Claymore Mines. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Place them next to the rocket-propelled grenades in the box marked peaches. Boy, when you guys protect your city, uh, you don't do anything by halves. Our enemies have been trying to take this city from us for centuries. We have learned the best defense is a stronger offense. Well, I suppose. 
You have heard the news already? What news? Your friend, Sion ben Juda is in Jerusalem. He has come to defend the city. He's here now? He is at the Wailing Wall. He is telling people there about your Jesus, uh, Messiah, whatever. Scriptures foretell what is going to happen soon. Listen to the words of Peter. The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. This is so cool. This is the same spot that Eli and Moshe spoke at. I wish I had seen them. Yeah, I wish he had too. They were something. This crowd seems kind of nervous. The prophet says that many of these people have spent years in hiding. Oh, they must be scared. They are. But this is their city. They're ready to die for it. Yeah, the only problem is a lot of them will. And to set up his millennial kingdom in Jerusalem. Judd? No. Have you seen Judd? Not here. What about you? Have, have you seen Judd or Vicky? I saw him in the chapel. Not appropriate. Pardon me. Excuse me. Nice hat. Judd! Vicky! Is something wrong? Yeah, you look like he's. Oh, you have the mark of a believer. <laughs> I am a Christian now. So is my father and brothers. That is awesome! We went to listen to Ben Judah, and more accurately, to mock him. Fortunately, that didn't work. Hearing truth is a powerful thing. Oh, I'm really glad. And that is not all the news I have to share. What's up? It has begun. New Babylon is being destroyed as we speak. W what about the believers there? An angel warned them. Your friend, uh, Mac McCallum, flew most of them out. That's oh. unbelievable. Well, except that the Bible predicted it. <laughs> I am learning there is much about your Bible that is incredible. Yeah, so am I, and I've been a Christian for seven years now. Now, if Babylon has fallen, that means there are only two prophetic events left. Yeah, the seventh bold judgment and the glorious appearing. I assume the glorious appearing is when Jesus returns. What is the seventh bold judgment? Um, Revelation 16 t talks about a voice coming from heaven saying, it is done. That doesn't sound so bad. Wait for it. After that, there's going to be a huge display in the sky. Lightning, thunder. It's going to make the 4th of July look pretty feeble. What is the 4th of July? Uh, that's America's Independence Day. They used to have big fireworks displays in all the cities. I see. Then what? An earthquake is going to destroy every city in the world, lay low every mountain, and sink every island. Okay, that sounds bad. It's going to split Jerusalem in three parts. Jerusalem? Then there will be hailstones. Huge hailstones that are going to kill people. Believers, too? The Bible doesn't say for sure. It, it does say men will blaspheme, so I want to assume it's just the non-believers that need to worry. Jerusalem will be split? Listen, Yafet, your rebellion never had a real chance anyway. Then wh why, why did you offer to help? We knew there were people here like you who needed to know about Jesus before it was too late. Yeah, we're not going to let the resistance down, but there are a lot of people hungry for God's message. Once these people die, there's no second chance. What's that shaking? It can't be the earthquake, can it? I, I don't think so. Well, come with me to street level. It is as I feel. Carpathia's army has arrived. I've never seen so many tanks and trucks. This is gonna get ugly. It's time to man your positions. The defense of Jerusalem is beginning. But so many people still need to hear our message. I'm afraid we've run out of time. The rebels are going against that army? Look at slaughter. We knew that when we came to Jerusalem. We just need to help them whatever way we can. But didn't the Bible say that Jerusalem will fall? Well, yeah. At least that's what Doc Ben Judas says, and he's been pretty accurate so far. So, this may sound like a dumb question at this point, but are we safe here? Not really. Oh. Well, if we get attacked by the GC, at least we'll die together. Yeah, look, let's forget that die together stuff. Okay? I'd rather <laughs> be alive when Jesus shows up. Well. In light of current events, it doesn't look like we'll have long to wait. Episode 71, On the Clouds. Lila, what are you doing up? Couldn't sleep. Too anxious to see Jesus, I guess. Understood. Before he returns, we will have to repel the Unity Army. Yeah, I know. Hey, uh... Thanks for including me on this, Lev. 
Having only one arm has disqualified me from helping out in lots of other places. It's only in your mind. There have been many places we could have been used. Yeah, I guess. I'm glad to have you here, Lionel. Well, when do you need me to come back here? Before daybreak, unless the attack comes earlier, but I don't think that will happen. Go get some sleep. I'll try. Don't count on it, though. Aren't you gonna eat dinner, Conrad? We have some great cans of stew that Enoch gave us. Shelf life doesn't end for another six years. Nah, I think I'm just gonna wait for this Orange Julius to reopen. <laughs> you might be waiting a while. What you got there? That's a transistor radio. Found it in the back of a sporting goods store up on the third level. I haven't seen one of those since I was in high school. Back then, portable radios were a little more rare. Hmm. You're older than you look. And younger than I feel. But that'll all change in a couple of days. Yeah, I found out why we haven't seen any GC for the last few weeks. Yeah? Why's that? Well, they moved most of them, cops and soldiers, over to the Middle East to take care of the rebels at Petra. Well, hopefully that'll keep that full Siri clown off our backs for a while. What am I saying? We don't have more than a couple of days. Are they talking about the troop movements on the radio at all? <laughs> That's all they're talking about. Listen. Soldiers has assembled here to wage what should be a very quick end to a pesky <laughs> enemy. So much for unbiased the news reporting. The response to such an overwhelming military campaign is surrender, but no one who has studied the history of the Judoites... Yeah, don't hold your breath. Judd, is Vicky with you? Yeah, I mean, she's asleep. What's up, Yafi? We've received word that the GC will most likely come from the Northwest and try to enter the Damascus Gate. We will be leaving for there within the hour. Oh, wait, Vicky. I don't <coughs> think that is such a good idea. What? Why? This will be a battle unlike anything the two of you have ever seen before. It will be no place for a woman. She's a pretty tough girl. I think she I can... don't advise it. But we're supposed to stick together. Judd? 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 Judd, where did you go? Help me! Help me, please! I'm looking for... I'm trying to find my husband! Damascus Gate! Damascus Gate! Damascus Gate! Thank you! Judd, bring that ammo box forward. Don't they know I'm a non-combatant? No such thing today. Hurry! Great, hang on! Here you go. Nicely done. He looked like a cowboy with those two guns. John Wayne never had two Uzis in his hands. Yeah, I'm sure you're... Ah! Are you hit? Ah! Ah, no, no, just some dust in my eyes. <clears throat> we seem to be holding the mayor, Commander. We received word the Dungate is under attack. The Dungate? That's to the south, isn't it? Yes. What are they doing? Going for the Temple Mount? I think so. Do you have orders? We'll need to support the troops at the Dungate. Let's take half our troops from here and back them up. Ah, get down! Do you think we can hold this position with half the troops? If we let them in the Dung Gate, they will have a clear line to the Temple Mount. We must go! Vicky! Stay there! What? Stay there! Hold on, I'll be right there! Ah, ah, hurry! Look out! That was close. What are you doing? I told you to stay back I there! I couldn't hear you with all the shooting going on. All I could see was you flailing your arms around. Yeah, well that meant stay there. I thought you were saying come here! I can't believe you did that. And I can't believe you left without me. What happened to let's stick together? I didn't want anything to happen to you. Sir, now that you've made it here, I regret to tell you we're leaving. Let's get to the dung gate. Uh, after you. Man, they ain't kidding, are they? I think the Unity Army wants to crush the rebellion with one swift stroke. What's with the horses? I mean, who rides in a battle on a horse anymore? Even the American cavalry traded in their horses for helicopters. I don't know why they did it, but I'm glad they did. Why? Say hello to my little friend. 
What kind of a gun is that? We call it a DEW, short for Directed Energy Weapon. You mean a ray gun? No, 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 no. It shoots a beam of directed energy that burns at an insanely high temperature. Like a ray gun? Okay, yes, like a ray gun. We can also use it on the horses. Can you hit them from here? Of course. We also have some 50 calibers along the perimeter. Those will do the most damage. <sighs> Uh-oh, they're firing at us. That's our cue to open fire with the juice. Here we go! Is this what we came to Jerusalem for? I guess so. I just received word that the fighting is not going well at Herod's Gate. We leave immediately. But we just got here. I know. I want the two of you to go to the tunnels. Get supplied and meet me at, uh... Uh... This position. That's a tourist map! This is where I will be. Meet me here. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Got ammo for the troops. Sorry. Sorry. What about Messiah? Yeah, he's on his way. Which way, Jeff? Through there. That'll take us to the main road to Herod's Gate. Are you sure? 100%? No. I'll go first. Whoa! You okay? Not a scratch. Your turn. under this rubble. You're crazy. If she's under that... Please! She may be alive, all right? She looked like she was falling towards that doorway. Please help me. Uh, uh, let me lift this larger piece. Uh, uh, push it this way. Uh, Is this her? Oh, Vicky! Uh, oh, she's breathing. Uh, be careful. The leg is injured. You can see the blood. Oh, look out. I'll cut away the pants leg. Uh, 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 Oh, my. Oh, no. Hand me the bag over there. It has some medical supplies in it. It looks bad. She'll be fine. I just want to wrap it up and clean it. Judd. Oh, shh. shh. Oh, take it easy, babe. I need to wrap up your leg. You got a wicked gash, okay? I'm wiggling my toes. Are they moving? Yes. They're moving. Oh, that's a good sign. I forgot to duck. Oh, just relax. I'll have this wrapped up in a minute, okay? After that, can we go home? Those guys must be lousy shots. They ain't hitting nothing. Here we go with our 50 calibers. You were mowing them down. Some of the unity army made it through. Yeah. A mile over there. It doesn't look like they're doing much damage either. Alright, get ready. We need to go strip the bodies of weapons. Then let's get to it. We should be able to get to Yafet's house easier on the streets than through the tunnel right now. This house is still there. It'll be there. How's your leg feeling? It's throbbing. You wrapped it kind of tight. I had to, sweetie. I'm not going to let you bleed to death the day Jesus returns. It might not be today. Well, either way. Which way are we going? I'm not sure. I think... Judd, do you know where we are? I think so. I mean, I'm not sure. Let's go. This way. Are you sure? Uh, no. Come on. Am I bothering you? Hmm? Oh, no. You're not bothering me. I was just reading. Zephaniah? I can't say I've read much of that. Now, listen to this. The terrible day of the Lord is near. Swiftly it comes, a day when strong men will cry bitterly. It is a day when the Lord's anger will be poured out. It is a day of terrible distress and anguish, a day of ruin and desolation. A day of darkness and gloom, of clouds and blackness, trumpet calls and battle cries, 
down go the walled cities and strongest battlements. Yeah, it's okay! We're gonna be okay! Just keep moving! Because you have sinned against the Lord, I will make you as helpless as a blind man searching for a path. Your blood will be poured out into the dust, and your bodies will lie there, rotting on the ground. I got these guys. You want to get those two? Are they all dead? These two guys are. I guess they probably regret joining Carpathia's army right about now. All right, I got these guns here. I got these. To the height! Leave the weapons or die! Look out, Lionel! Put them down. You know, I don't think I'm going to be putting these guns down. I'm not going to warn you again. You do what you need to. I'm taking this stuff and getting out of here. Lionel! Fine. Fine. You leave me no choice. Lionel, are you all right? Uh, yeah. He didn't even hit me. This is insane. The bullets are going right through us. They can't <laughs> hurt us. We will smash you into the desert. I don't think so. You do whatever you want, sports shoes. You ain't gonna do nothing to us. John, I need to stop. Just for a minute. Over there, in that doorway. <laughs> Let me see your leg. It hurts pretty good. I'm sure it does. Just relax. Ah! I'm sorry. I'll get a new bandage on it when we get to the office. Do you know where we are? Yeah, Jerusalem. You ready to go? Get your hands up! No! Get them up! We're right on! Don't shoot! Turn around! Corporal, zip him! Ah. Ah. Careful with her. Her leg is hurt. Corporal, shut him up! Ah! Ah! You two still awake? Yeah, I can't sleep. We were thinking about Jed and Vicky. And Lionel. And Lionel. Me too. I got this overwhelming urge to pray for them. Yeah, join the party. I'll start. Heavenly Father, we're coming to you now on behalf of our friends who are in danger. We pray that you would deliver them from the powers that we against our children. Judd. Judd. Hey, lie still. We're in a holding facility. Looks like... What? What? Looks like what? Uh, the stadium. Teddy Colic Stadium. Well, could be. The GC have turned it into an internment camp. There's people from all over Jerusalem being held here. Do they know who we are yet? No. I don't think so. We weren't carrying weapons, so they don't think we're rebel soldiers. I want the dead removed from here, immediately. Yes, Commander Full Series. I want these civilians loaded for transport. We need to clear out any witnesses. Mm, what are you looking at? That soldier just called him Full Siri. Who's that? The guy who killed Natalie and Pete. And Mark, for all we know. Shh, he's coming this way. Judd. And get Judd. this one out of here, too. What? This is my husband. Why are you taking him? We're burning the dead for health reasons. He's not dead! I know you. Why do I know you? Please, he's my husband. You can't take him. Mm, uh... Sergeant, get these two on the civilian truck. And have them both printed and processed. I want to know why she looks so familiar. Yes, sir! Oh, that is no good. Shh, should be fine. Just keep an eye on the clouds. It's easy when I'm on my back. <sighs> Won't be long now. The sooner the better. went right through us. So you see, we have nothing to fear from the servants of Satan. They have no power over us. Hang on, man. What's up with the clouds? They're covering the whole sky. Oh, blocking out the sun. So, is this it? Very soon, I'm sure. Right now, we'll be fine with me. Where are we? We're in a GC truck, headed for some command post for processing. What's that on your fingers? Ink. They ran my fingerprints before we left the stadium. Just after you passed out for the second time. Are you okay? I got a knot on the back of my head. I got a headache the size of Cleveland. Other than that, I'm right. How about you? 
Well, my leg feels like it stopped bleeding. That's good. Mm. Now what? You two, get out. Us? Get out. I'll give you a hand. Uh, you okay? Fine. I'm coming. Hurry up! I'm going as fast as I can. Motion isn't my friend at the moment. Mm. Then you'll be happy to know you won't be going any further. Driver, go! Let me guess. You're letting us go. Not exactly. Vicky B. What'd you call her? Vicky B. Vicky Byrne. Whatever. Uh, the name's Thompson. Yeah, sure it is. And that's because you married your high school sweetheart, Judd Thompson. The other guy that we've been looking for for several years. I wouldn't exactly say we were high school sweethearts. I'm giving you one chance. You can tell me what I want to know, or you can die slowly and painfully. It's not much of a choice. Where are the rebel leaders? <laughs> You're asking the wrong girl. Sergeant? Yes, sir. If she doesn't give me the answers I want, shoot her husband. No, no, you can't do that. But don't kill him. I want him to die knowing that she could have made it easier for him. Don't waste your time, pal. Where are the leaders? You know as well as I do, they're at Petra. Sergeant? Wait, wait! I'll show you where the tunnels are. Vicky, don't do this. I won't let them hurt you. Vic, don't do this. I have to. Can't watch them kill you. Lead the way, Vicky B, or I'll feed him to the dogs. How much further is this tunnel of yours? Another block or two. If you're wrong, I'm gonna have the sergeant shoot you both. It's okay with us, Chief. Shut up! Ah! Ah! Get back! If you hurt him again, I'm not telling you a thing! He's fine. Just rub some dirt on it and get up. Compassionate fella. Where's the tunnels? We're close. You're lying! Sergeant, shoot him! No! Can't! Hey, what's happening to the light? The sun is being blocked up. Come on, Vic, let's get out of here. Shoot them! I can't see them! This way, get in here. Uh, this is the building we used to get to the tunnel? Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't think I led them this close. You know I wasn't going to bring them here, right? Yeah, I figured that. Oh, there's a knife. Here, I'll cut these plastic cuffs. All still. Uh, oh, that's better. Here, do mine. Okay. Cut away from my hands. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's nice. I can feel the circulation coming back to my fingers. Hey, where are we gonna go? Oh, I haven't figured that out yet. We could just stay underground. Oh, I'd like to see Jesus return. <laughs> oh, something tells me we're not gonna miss that. Whoa! Did you guys feel that? Yeah, it feels like the temperature dropped 10 degrees. At least! Did your radio say anything about a weather change? <gasps> What was that? Looks like the temperature isn't the only thing that's dropping. Here comes another one! Uh, is that a meteor? Dude, that meteor took out that GC tank. This must be a divine bombardment. The meteors are only hitting the Unity Army, not Shy God. Oh, that was close. The meteor went through the street to the tunnels below. Would God let the tunnels be damaged like that? In two days, who's gonna need them, right? You wanna go outside and see what's going on? <laughs> no. I just... What? what? What are you looking at? That light out there, it's so bright. What is it? Is this it? <sighs> Vicky, is this what we've been waiting for for the past seven years? Well, let's go see. <laughs> it's a cross! In the sky, it's a cross! He's coming, Dad! He's coming! <laughs> but you won't be alive to see it. No, you again! Get your hands up. You idiot! Can't you see you're beaten? Nikolai Carpathia can't protect you from Jesus Christ! This is the end, Commander. Jesus is coming back, and your little global community is all done. Well, your Jesus may put on a pretty good light show, but right now all I care about is that you two are not going to be causing me any more trouble. Oh, please. You two are going to die, and if you do it within spitting distance of your god friend there, so much the better. He can watch you die, too. The same as he watched Natalie Bishop die. Oh. The same as he watched Pete Davidson die. The same as he watched Mark Eisman die. Do they mean anything to you? Yeah, they're all people I'm going to be having breakfast with tomorrow. You can kill our bodies, but you can't kill our spirits. Eisman said the same thing. That's why it felt especially good dropping the blade on him. You're one sick individual. More to the point, I'm one sick individual with a gun. No! Stop! <sighs> yeah, you may want to check behind me. I'd hate to see you hit one of your own guys. Well, not really. I wouldn't mind seeing that at all. That's impossible. I shot you at point-blank range! Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> Must be pretty disappointing for you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they don't work on me either! <laughs> if I can't shoot you, maybe I can beat you to death! Vicky, look out! He's got a knife! <laughs> 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 
Ah, that's for my wife, Charlie. Uh, you think I'm gonna let Jump you? Jump the meteor hole! Yeah. Nice to see you, you guys. Have some fight. Yeah, there's an old saying, pal. Don't pull the tiger's tail if you don't have a plan for his teeth. Dude, you threatened my wife. Jump. Careful. Don't fall in. Wait. You see it? You see the cross in the sky? This is a sign for us and for the Unity Army to surrender. I don't think... Their weapons cannot hurt us. Lionel? You okay? You think... That, that, Lionel, what's wrong? I... I, I don't, don't know what's... What's happening to me? John, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I feel fine. In fact, what? I, I never felt better. <sighs> let me see the cut on your leg. Well, let me get this bandage. Uh, Will you look at that? Uh, the cut is healed. There's not even a scar, Vicky. We've been healed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> what, 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 what should we do now? Uh, Jesus is coming back to the Mount of Olives. Yeah, and and it's gonna split in two. That's where I want to oh, be. Oh, then oh, let's go. Oh yeah. Okay. Stand back! Give him air! It's growing! It's growing back! I have... I have two arms again! Whoa! Whoa! It's a miracle! It's a miracle! Are you sure this is the right way? Oh, you don't think I'd get us lost twice in one day, do you? Okay, don't answer that. <laughs> I was just wondering if you felt the same leading I do. Yeah, I do. I feel like God is guiding us. It's like there's Oh, Judd, a... look! It's Yafit! Judd, Vicky, it's good to see you. <laughs> you were shot! Oh, many times, my friend. Oh, my friends <laughs> left me for dead and continued the fight. Are you okay? I mean, you look like you lost a lot of blood. Oh, I am fine. I have been sitting here praising God. He has healed me. Yeah, us too. <laughs> Where are you going? I was headed to Mount Scopus. It is an excellent place to see the Mount of Olives from. <sighs> Perfect. We want to see Jesus come back. Let's go. Okay. Episode 72. Let the river run. Look. Here he comes with the clouds of heaven. And everyone shall see him, even those who pierced him. That's from the Bible? Yes, Charlie. Revelation 1, verse 7. How is he going to accomplish that? I mean, if he returns to Israel, how will we see him here in Illinois? Look at the sky. I think we're seeing him return right now. That cross is lighting up everything. It won't be long now. I'm a little nervous about this, aren't you? Excited is more like it. Is God going to kill a bunch of people over here like he is in the other faraway country? I'm afraid he is, Charlie. If someone is working for the Antichrist, they're in serious trouble. Someone turn the lights out. The cross is gone. Hey, check out the sky. Open it. What's happening? This is it, Lionel. Jesus is here. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last. The beginning and the end. The Almighty. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. I am the Son of Man, the Son of God, the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I am the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, the one who prevailed to open the scroll to loose its seven seals. I am the Lamb of the Slain and yet he lives. I don't know what I to say. Oh, to living no, it's of the waters. time to listen. I am and the watch. Jesus who will wipe away every tear from your eyes. Yes! I am Everything we've lived for these last few years. I, I, I understand now. I am Jesus. I, I, I really understand. Oh, All of our minds have been opened, Charles. <laughs> and the morning star. Our Savior is here. <laughs> I 
am the Word that became flesh and dwelt among you, and you beheld my glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He's speaking to us, Vicky. I, being in the form of Jesus, did not consider it robbery to be equal with Jesus, but made myself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, I humbled myself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Why would you do that for, for me? Therefore, Darian, God also has highly exalted me and given me the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of Jesus the Father. He spoke to me. He called me by name. <laughs> Me too, Charlie. Did he say your name? Yeah, you too? He must have said everyone's name simultaneously. I, I don't know why anything should surprise us anymore. My friends, the word is being passed along that the remnant is to go back to Jerusalem. There's over a million of us. How are we going to move that many people from here to Jerusalem? Many are walking. That's almost 60 miles away. After what you've seen here today, do you think that will be a problem? According to the rabbi's teaching, there are more battles before we arrive in Jerusalem. They will end as the fighting here has. Messiah has slaughtered his enemies. Yeah, I ain't giving a public shout outs but praise God. Come, I'll race you to Jerusalem. The first one to the Temple Mount but wins. <laughs> We've been running for half an hour. I ain't even tired. We've gone so far. Let this isn't Jerusalem. It's Basra. There's another battle here. For the indignation of the Lord is against and Jesus is fighting it the same way. The scriptures talk about a sword in his mouth. From what I see, he speaks. The enemy dies. Can't wait to see what happens to Carpathia. Let's get to Jerusalem, man. What about the defeat at Megiddo? I know what's gonna happen there, so do you. It won't be any different than what we've seen already today, except bigger and worse. I'd rather be waiting in Jerusalem. It's okay by me. And their dust saturated with fatness. For today is the day of the Lord's vengeance. Mount up for the glory of your risen master and Lord of the earth. Forward! Looks like we're just in time. Take these triumphant entries and mockery to Jesus. You think those horses know better than their riders? Make way! If the animals won't cooperate, continue without them. Press the advance! My eyes! Reinforcement charge! Dude, they're melting. The horses too. That's just Help wrong. Me. Get up, get up. We are not defeated. We have a million more souls, and we shall prevail. And we'll die before our very eyes. Ah. Uh, Command us, sir. Behold, the Son of Man. You, you will not defeat me. Hide me from him, Excellency. You are nothing. I am like the most high. Come, you animal. Whoa. I knew we were coming to where the action is, but this is out of control. Maintain your post, or I will kill you myself. Share another trick of the enemy, and I will not stand for it. Commander, we are losing troops by the thousands. Look at those guys. They're completely freaking. General, you are the lead of the post. are falling into the ground. You cannot mess with God and get away with it. That's all there is to it. It is over, Excellency. It is over. When I say it is over. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended and that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Every valley has been exalted, and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places have been made straight, and the rough places smooth. The glory of the Lord has been revealed, and all flesh have seen it together. For I have spoken. 
Oh, oh, is everyone all right? Yeah, I'm good. Me too. Oh, that was something, huh? <laughs> it's gonna be pretty soon that Jesus lands on the Mount of Olives. Oh, look, everybody's heading that direction now. Jesus is leading them. Oh. Maybe we should head over there too. Gee, Dad, do you think? Come on! <laughs> I can't believe we're going to be standing on the Mount of Olives when Jesus sets foot here. It's more than I've ever dreamed of. I know. Vicky? Lev, it's Vicky and Judd. <laughs> hey, you guys made it. That's fantastic. <sighs> hey, Juddo, in some cultures it's bad luck to shake Lefty, but I don't buy that stuff, so shake. Oh, oh, where did you get that? Where are you? You got two of them again. Check this out. Oh, man. You got me. Tell me about it. We did too, but wow, is it bionic? Yeah, I'll crush some concrete for you later. You guys okay? Oh yeah, completely fine. There's something in it. The armies of Carpathia are getting ready to attack us. Yeah, well, uh, there's that. <laughs> they can't touch us anymore. Not when we're with attack! Jesus. His butt is going to touch. I am who I am. Oh, here we go. Not us, brother. Here they go. And all the same the ground is moving! Give the door! Ah. The mountain valley reaches to its own. Yes, ah. you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. Ah. Jerusalem is rising! Everything else is falling! Judge, check it out! Our baby is taken off! What's that light bouncing around? Don't know. How often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. For I said to you, you shall see me no more, till you said, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Oh God, thank you for letting me be here to see all this. This is amazing. Come to me, my child. Me? Come to me, Judd. I will give you rest. I... I need... I need rest. Judd, how I have looked forward and longed for this day. I knew your name before the foundations of the world. Thank you. Vicky, I was there those times when you cried yourself to sleep. I was there when your mother and father accepted me. And you rejected me. I'm so sorry. And I was there, Lionel. I was there when your uncle was taken from you, and your friends, and your arm. Thank you, Lord. You probably already know this, but I got my arm back. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I am the lover of your soul. You were meant to be with me for eternity. And now, you shall be. Thank, Thank you. you. This is the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> to any of us, Charlie. I never thought I'd get Jesus teaching me how to pray. <laughs> What's next? You're asking me? Well, you seem to know this stuff. I lost my Bible when we left Avery. Been counting on my memory ever since. Well, so, b by your memory, what is happening next? As far as I can tell, the next thing to happen is Jesus judging the Antichrist. Oh, I'd like to see that. Antichrist, kneel before your lord. <laughs> I recognize no authority here to which I will bow. Lucifer, leave this man. <laughs> kneel. As you say. You became a willing tool of the devil himself. You were a rebel against the things of God and his kingdom. You caused more suffering than anyone in the history of the world. Ultimately, your plans and your regime have failed. 
And now, who do you say that I am? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. I rebelled against the God of the universe, whom I now know loved me. You are responsible for the fate of billions. You and your false prophet shall be cast alive into the lake of fire. It is time. Stand to your feet. And I saw the beast, the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to make war against him who sat on the horse and against his army. Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet who worked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast, and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone! No! 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 This is a brand new world, babe. <laughs> Look at the plants. Oh, they're already growing. I've never seen anything so beautiful. <laughs> and this is just the beginning. Okay, okay, hold it. We can do this, Colin. I'm sure of it. How? How are we going to get to Israel? Well, there, there has to be a way. Um, we can have one of the co-op pilots come get us. There has to be thousands, millions of believers in America, more in Canada and Mexico. It'll take forever to get us all there. Not forever. A long time, but not forever. Yeah, Charlie's right. This can happen. I mean, look at what we've seen today. Is anything impossible anymore? You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. So how do we do it? I hardly believe everything we've seen in the past couple of days. Carpathia and Fortunato thrown into the pit? And Satan? I can't imagine what the next thousand years will be like without him messing with us. I'm guessing we'll see how much we can mess up by ourselves without his help. <laughs> Vicky? Vicky? Darian? Darian? <gasps> how did you I, get here? I don't no. know! What? I'm serious. I was talking to Conrad, and all of a sudden, I'm hearing... Uh, it, this is Israel, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know about that? <laughs> Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. John the Revelator wrote, I saw the souls of those who had not worshipped the beast or his statue, nor accepted the mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life again and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Hey, check it out. We're gonna know a bunch of these. Bruce Barnes. Look, you worked Bruce. hard on behalf of me and my kingdom. Ryan Daly. You remain strong in the faith despite the pain you endured. I knew you'd make it, brother. Highest time. Your example brought many to the kingdom. Andre Dupree. Say what? Hey, that's Lionel's uncle. He, he did it, Judd. He believed. Though you chose me late in life. You shall know every measure of grace. John Preston, your witness even to the last moments of your life became an example for many of your friends. Mark Eisman, many are here because of your work and commitment. Now, it's time to be at peace. Mark! Nada Amir. John, it's your friend Nada. I see that. 
in your life and death, you directed others to me. Peter Davidson, you were sacrificially faithful in the work you've done. Well, look who I found. I didn't know I was lost. So you like that part about being at peace? Yeah. I like that a lot. <laughs> Doesn't go against your warrior nature. <laughs> Darian, you may be surprised by the new me. Beheading can really change a guy, you know? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Conrad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I mean, it's hard not to be all right today. I just wish my brother Taylor was here. I know. I had a sister... She didn't believe either. Well, what do you think, Ryan? Do we want to interrupt this reunion? And they won't even remember who we are. Bruce, Ryan! <laughs> hey, anybody remember who these guys are? <laughs> Ryan, great to see Bruce, you. Bruce, yeah. I think I remember you. Nice job with the gang, John. Oh, I did nothing. These guys kept me alive so many times. Oh, uh, no, that's not how I heard it. But the important thing is that you're here now. Uh, Bruce, right? I can't thank you enough for showing us the way. Uh, thank Jesus. He's the one who saved you. Yeah, but you were a big part of all that. And Ryan was a big part of me becoming a Christian. Well, you know, I was trying to make good use of my abductions. <laughs> hey, since we're locked up, how about I tell you about Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> you're Ryan Daly? Yeah. You're Charlie, right? Yeah. I took care of Phoenix after you died. I really appreciate that. Hey, how how is that old scruff? <laughs> Hey, hey, Phoenix! <laughs> hey, hey. Boy and his dog. Brings a tear to the eye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Excuse me, I'm looking for my daughter-in-law. Uh, I might be able to help you. Do, do you know her name? Mrs. Judd Thompson, Jr. M Mrs. Judd Thompson? Vicki, she's talking about you. Mom! Uh, Mom! I was just looking for you guys! Oh, oh, here, oh here I Mom! Am. Oh, wow. Hey, what happened back then? I am so sorry hey, for... Hey, look at me. I know you're sorry, but if you'd believed before, lots of people might not be here that are here now. She's right, you know. And I wouldn't have such a beautiful daughter-in-law. I'd say Judd got the better end of that deal. <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to argue with you, but nice job with the subtlety, you know. No, you haven't changed at all. Except I'm alive now. Really alive. Mark and Marcy want to see you. So does your father. I, I want to meet them. Sorry, everyone. Judd and I need to go. Family stuff. What? I just saw someone we need to talk to. Let me guess. You're Vicky's young man? Daddy, this is my husband, Judd Thompson. Hi. Well, I'm glad to finally meet you. And I'm so glad to see you here, baby. I love you, Daddy. I love you so much. Thank you for taking care of my little girl. It was my pleasure. If I'd had a chance, I would have asked you permission before we got married. But... Well, it may be a little late, but you have my blessing and my thanks. <laughs> Uh, you guys remember when we were trying to find a name to call our little group? Yeah, you guys remember when wow. I was coming up with all those great names uh, and you were making oh, fun of me for it, huh? Yeah, yeah. but you feel bad about that now. Oh, yeah. terrible. Yeah. Sorry. Well, that was Ooh, fun. Fun? Yeah, <laughs> man. I mean, that may be what I miss most with you gone. Just, just not as much fun to make fun of than hey. Vicky. What about me? Yeah. Well, see, I think I made my point there. Oh. I still like the Holy Rollers. <laughs> Wasn't there one in there, uh, the Quad God Squad? Yeah, yeah I, like, I like the Final that Four. I'm telling you, it's a gift. <laughs> yeah, well, now that Jesus has disbanded the group, we'll just have to explore some of your other gifts. Yeah, I don't see it as disbanded, just redirected. Mm, it's yes. not like we ain't never going to see each other again. <laughs> Come on, Lionel, you don't really want to hang out with the boring old married people, do you? Yeah. Uh, nah, you might be surprised. They can be almost tolerable. <laughs> well, I hope you guys don't get tired of hanging out with me. You're really the only family I have here. Uh, we're not going anywhere, and besides, everybody's your family now. <laughs> So, I want to hear about everything that's happened since I left you guys. Everything? Uh, I don't know if we can remember <laughs> everything. Wow, an awful lot's happened in the last seven years. Oh, come on, take that newly refreshed gray matter for a spin. You'll be amazed <laughs> at what it can do. I think Ryan's right. See, thank you. About what? The story. <laughs> oh, what story? The story of us, man. It's, it's all part of one big story. Everything that we've been through, all of us. On the last page, God wins. <laughs> that sounds like a story worth telling. Besides... We got a thousand years. <laughs> Talk me into it. Where do we start? So hang on. You guys are really married. Who could have ever seen that coming? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> right out of left field. Well, I didn't even oh, like it when I first saw it. Five years um, later. Like <laughs> Morning, I'm dead. Oh, Morning. whatever. Right. I don't want to In that day, the wolf and the lamb will live together. The leopard and the goat will be at peace. 
calves and yearlings will be safe among lions, and a little child shall lead them. The Kid Left Behind is based on the best-selling books by Jerry B. Jenkins and Tim LaHaye. To find out more, check out leftbehind.com. And for information on the live-action audio series, stop by gapdigital.com. This live-action audio series is a presentation of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening. This has been an earflix.com audio movie presentation.